A river runs through it. It sure does. We are in Fredericton, the St. John River. We're in the New Brunswick capital. There is a mountain of money in the Maritimes just waiting to be won. The Sweet 16s began this afternoon with four teams moving on to the Elite Eight. Tonight, the men's side of the bracket gets underway. Yes! Oh! Got it for the win. Matt Dunstone made wholesale changes, hoping to make the next step. Greg Smith also big changes. The fans voted in this team from Newfoundland and Labrador. So who will make it a big payday at Freddy Beach? The 2022 Points Bet Invitational continues. And this brand new event to kick off a new season all happening here at Willie O'Ree Place. Named, of course, for the NHL Hall of Famer who was born here, the first black man to play in the NHL. As on this Wednesday night, we do say hello Canada and welcome to Fredericton and the start of a brand new season of champions for all of us and this brand new event, the uh, points bet invitational. We saw the women earlier today. We're going to see half of the men's field coming right now. And you really do that proverbial need a program to tell the teams. You sure do with all the, the changes. And we've had a change as well. Hey, curling fans. I've had the best seat in the house for some of the best curling ever. My years with TSN has given me a real sense of what this sport does for communities across Canada and how TSN plays an important role in connecting competitive sport with community spirit. Thank you so much to the players, to you, the fans, and to my TSN teammates for the incredible journey these past eight years. I will truly miss it. But now is the time for me to focus on family and my responsibilities as president and CEO of Canada's Sports Hall of Fame. But I promise I will still be curling's number one fan, cheering from the sidelines, wishing I could be there to keep Vic and Russ in line. I am looking forward though to continuing the great work of Canada Sports Hall of Fame shining a spotlight on inspiring athletes from across this nation. Enjoy the season. Cheryl, thank you very much on behalf of all of us at uh, TSN Curling for a wonderful eight years. You stay well, you and your family. Wholesale ch changes in the men's game, isn't there? And really, it's since the advent of Olympics. It really has been. It is a business model. The curlers all talk about it. This is what has to happen. When you look at those teams one through five, no one has the same team. And then you look at the teams, Brad, Brad Gouju made a change a second and he's number one. Look at the wholesale changes of other teams. Well, Kui Bacha, the Alberta Connections, the rivalry there, all three players different on both teams. And in both cases, they've swapped to the other guys. So it's uh, same guys, different shirts. Let's take a look at the uh, game tonight, our featured game. Let's meet the team now. And it's brought to you by Home Hardware. Here's how well, this team voted in by you, the viewers. Well, and Greg Smith, such an effervescent guy. We saw the shot of the week. We did the round the horn. So the talent is there. The challenge for Greg this week, they have not thrown a rock yet. That is going to be tough. And then you talk about Matt Dunstone. Here is a complete change. Well, when Matt Pitt picked up uh, Harnden and Newfelt, you knew he had to experience a couple of great guys, unbelievable shot makers. That leaves Colton Law. What's going to happen with the young kid? Well, Dunstone himself said he's the next Oscar Erickson. Pretty high praise. Of course, uh, Oscar playing with Nicholas Odin. So, this is our feature matchup as we get underway on the men's side of things here at the Points Bet Invitational from Frederick. Go, go. Really got to go. The 2022 Points Bet Invitational is brought to you in part by Points Bet, proud partner of Curling Canada, by BKT Tires and OK Tire, by Tim Hortons, the official coffee of Curling Canada, and by New Holland, proud sponsor of Curling Canada.
Greg Smith and his team from the Remax Center, St. John's Curling Club, the Valley Haley Country Club against Matt Dunstone, who goes home to Winnipeg in the Fort Rouge Curling Club. Elsewhere on the ice, it is Felix Asselin against Howard, Glenn Howard. Asselin, of course, through the fourth stones for Michael Fournier last few years, but now skipping the team. We're playing on sheet B. On sheet C, that's the reigning Canadian junior team of Landon Rooney from Whitby, Ontario, against Brendan Botcher and his team from the Glencoe. Entirely new team for him. And Colton Flash out of Saskatoon will take his team against Carson Sturme from Edmonton. As we get it underway, it'll be a Smith that plays the red stone. Dunstone will play the uh, yellow. And it will be Dunstone that does have the last rock. Dunstone, the 27-year-old, four Briar appearances. Had a couple of uh, bronze medals in the uh, in the Briar. All of them when he was representing uh, Saskatchewan. And as he makes his way down, of course, he now lives in uh, Kamloops, but the native of Winnipeg. So he goes home and is able to play for Winnipeg by virtue of that residency rule. And so the brush is down. We're ready to get it underway. Greg Smith voted in by the fans. And to get us underway, the lead from Newfoundland and Labrador, this is Zach Young. The same sheet as our uh, afternoon game. Beautiful curl, great speed, but it did slow down really late in the game down that slide path in the center, which is not unusual. You see it almost every single game every single event and I'll have to keep aware of that. The other thing this uh, team from Newfoundland have to be aware of is the hitting ability of uh, Team Dunstone I'll tell you with Colton Lott, BJ Newfelt I wouldn't want to be down three or four. Oh yeah yeah definitely. So as he rebuilds his team Dunstone he's reached out to Ryan Harnden yeah, for all those years of course. Line's good. Line's Playing with uh, Brad Jacobs out of oh, Northern Ontario, so the uh, a little earlier. the oh, Sault Ste. Marie team, and that good. gold medal he won in 14, and then of course the 13 Briar gold, 13 appearances at the uh, Briar for Ryan Harnden. Just tap it back, it's fine. Just like back four. Let's take a look at the keys to the game now, and we will start with Greg Smith. Well, they're the underdogs. It's that simple. They have not uh, played in a spiel either, so shorten the game as much as you can. It's easy to say. Dunstone's not going to apply with that, but as simple as you possibly can early to lengthen this game. And for Greg himself, get the speed right. He's going to have to draw that forefoot to either hold them down to his singles or if possibly steal. Chris. Yeah. Yep. Any, any bounce. Good. Fine. Make it a free chance, but, uh... The keys now for Matt Dunstone. Well, I really think this is one of the hitting best hitting teams I've seen in a long, long time. So defense first. That's how you can win championships. So start right off in this game here. Front end dominance. Colton and Ryan, I think, should have a big advantage. They need that to make Dunstone shots easy enough. Keys to the game are brought to you by Cashmere Bathroom Tissue. Nothing feels like cashmere. Now, Kathy was saying that, you know, the Smith team didn't have any ice to prepare, so they got a few stones in at the uh, local club here in, in Fredericton. Dunstone, on the other hand, they were uh, already playing in Okotoks this past weekend. They lost 5-4 to Brendan Boscher in the semifinal. And one of the questions I asked BJ before the game is yeah. what did you learn about this team last weekend in Okotoks? And he said the biggest thing is that they all know they really, really want to play together. And the definition of roles is locked in. No one's trying to play another position. Colton Lott, a long time third for Matt Dunstone, isn't trying to play third. His position is second. He's embracing it. And that is really critical, I think, for BJ coming from Kevin Cooey's team where there was a little bit of discussion of he was in the house and then he wasn't in the house. I think for him it's really important to know that he is the third 
and that Colton's not going to be asking to move up if things don't go well. And here is the 27-year-old Colton Lott. Uh, last year was a replacement for Colin Hodson with Mike McEwen when uh, Hodson came down with uh, COVID. Looking for that rollover, and uh, he'll lay it on the edge of the eight. Very good, Colton. This is what you're going to see out of this team. I think if I was skipping this team, I'd keep it fairly simple and try keep for the, the hit and rolls. Up. Those aren't easy, but that's something Colton and B.J. Newfeld are good at. Almost perfect there. These are the ones that can be missed at the start of the week. Fact, this, this should, if he's not heavy, and it, it should curl hard, but this is coming pretty hard. Weight save uh, them, otherwise Zach, that ticks uh, the guard. Give me, let me know the weights. Not great, guys. Yeah. Speed's good here. Yeah. Colton, along with uh, Dunstone, won those uh, Canadian men's junior championships representing Manitoba. And then went on to win the uh, the bronze medals at the Worlds. And tries to roll it in behind that uh, tight corner. Gets a little piece under. Well, goodness, it's all buried. That's a deceptive angle there. It's totally covered. And that's a, a great way, Colton. That's how good a hitter this kid is. He's like he's gonna really pay dividends for Matt because Matt likes that style of play. Look at that. Almost made the same roll on the first one. So that's Adam Boland throwing the uh, third stone to look to get rid of them. Boland and Ford at second. Played previous uh, Briars, one previous Briar with Andrew Simmons out of Newfoundland and Labrador, and that'll get the job done. But it, it's interesting because we talked earlier today, Kathy, when we were watching the uh, the women's game and maybe some of the up weight for the you know for Jones and, and in particular the Zacharias team. Right, the, the younger, the junior players. Already we're seeing tonight shots being made with the proper amount of weight. Nothing's been overthrown to this point. And I don't think that's a gender thing no, at no, all. No, no, I'm just saying I think it's a junior thing. It, you know what? It, sort of. I think that it, uh, you'd see a lot more of that up weight with less experience. We may see less weight thrown tonight because a lot of these teams have played already. We saw a little bit more weight from the team from Newfoundland and Labrador. They haven't. When you're not as comfortable with your delivery or your release, you throw it faster because it gets out of your hand faster. And it's, it's more likely that you're not going to make mistakes. But I think that it's one of those things that Team Zacharias, not Jennifer, will come out the next game and they will throw less weight because that will be a discussion that they have tonight. A little tight. Three, four right now. Three. Yeah, he Where? was a skip of that uh, U Sport gold medal team mm -hmm. at Memorial. Fight. Adam okay, Bolin. Just make sure you're in. Now we're in. Okay, go for distance. Go. Yeah, can't hurt it. It's fine. It's good, Bolin. Hold on. Control. Just clean. Clean. Go ahead. Yep. So BJ Newfeld Smart. after yep. his time with Kevin Cooey and that 19 go. Briar well, clean, clean. gets to go home to join Matt Dunstone. And then at the Worlds, of course, they won the silver medal. But to your point, right, he ended up playing the second spot, Kathy, and uh, really up and down. He's a team player. And, I'm not sure you'd say we want you to play lead or carry the bags or do whatever you have to. Mm -hmm. He's that kind of guy. Try and roll in front of that at all? I think on my left, yeah. yeah. On your first one? Yours, it was flat for you, like you would have to throw peel to get right. Okay. Yeah, I like it. Go hard at it, I think. Yeah, those two Briars, 18 and 21. And they just happen to also be Briars where 
Guju was Zach. defending yeah. as playing as Team Canada, so Zach. I have to always laugh. He says, thank you very much for winning because it gave me a chance to get out of the province. <laughs> That's true, though. How, how up was that? But they have committed to playing more, realizing that uh, if they want to get better, they have to get off the rock to throw the rock. <laughs> Well, they talked about five events that they will play this year, Greg Smith, off the island. And very much uh, shocked, I think, last year, knowing that Nathan Young, the young man that was playing in juniors last year in the Canadians and then came straight to the Briar to play, is going to be a factor, as are other teams. And so for the Smith team, do not want to waste another opportunity with Brad Gushu out of the picture already Team Canada, and to be better, they have to play more, travel more, and compete more. Matt Dunstone, four Briar appearances. He's also a youth sport gold medal winner. That was back in 14 with the University of Manitoba. Oh, just another level of competition that's gotten so much better. Hard, hard, hard. Oh, yeah. Throw. Good, Matt. I, it's pretty straight. Pretty I think we can take here and just. Yeah, they put on the same weight. I, I admit, yeah. Because you were talking about Nathan Young last year at the uh, at the Briar and Lethbridge. He only he went nice. one and seven, but yeah. there was one thing that will stick with me forever. After they won their game, their lone game, who was at the end of the ice to welcome them when they came off the ice? But the Gushu team, right? Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's pretty classy. Mm -hmm. Okay, you got a butt. Yeah. Touch less. Touch less. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 Picked up by Young. Yeah. Yeah. get this started. Oh, and good brush. Very okay. good brush. Oh gosh. Down a lot, I guess. Sorry. Is it down a lot? I tanned it. I think it was just. I had to have been just tight. Just there, maybe it just seemed slower. I don't know. Is that tight? Oh well. I was tight. You're tight. So a chance to go to school here. We'll put a blank on the board. You win, you move on. You lose, and you're going home. Second end underway here on this uh, Wednesday night, day one of our coverage, the points bet invitational from Fredericton. Our feature, Greg Smith from uh, Remax Center in St. John's Curling Club, Valley Haley Country Club against Matt Dunstone of the Fort Rouge in Winnipeg. Blank first, so Dunstone once again will have Last Rock has the hammer playing the uh, Yellow Stones. Zach Young, his first stone is on the lid. Up goes a wide, wide hey, corner from Dunstone. Guys, come on. All you got, guys. Come on. Take a stop. Take a stop. Take a... Okay. It's okay. It all got underway this afternoon here in Fredericton at the Willie O'Ree place. And uh, there was one upset. As Selena Sturmate seated number 13, it was a winner over Chelsea Carey, number four. Elsewhere, it was uh, what you might expect Team Anderson, three time Canadian champions win big over the uh, reigning Canadian club champions. And it was a team of rock, a winner over the team from Dartmouth. And of course, in our uh, featured game, Jennifer Jones was a winner over Kelly from right here in Fredericton. So those are the four that advance. We'll see the second half of the women's draw tomorrow. Well, and in that upset game, Selena Sturme made some very key up weight hits, doubles when she needed to get her team out of trouble. 
and to keep Chelsea Carey chasing, and she did just that. So help me here, uh, Russ. You put up that corner for a reason. Yep. He goes, decides Matt Dunstone with Ryan Harden and goes around it. That center line guard was very, is very long. He could have, yep. to my mind, could have played down to Shaw Stone. Yeah, and, and I think that's why he didn't it because it's so long and he knows he can get at that with either turn and go in right away. And, and the best way to get around a corner guard is to the guy that threw the corner guard. They know the ice, it's the same curler, same release, and they're well played by Ryan. And now there's a great chance to get there too. Yeah, that guard is, this ice is so, finishes so well. Those guards that long are really of no value. Just Ford, yeah. yep. So Chris Ford gets caught, and Kathy plays like that, crashes like that. Guard that's long like that may be just a result of the fact they haven't been on the ice. Sure, it, you don't have that touch, that feel, unless you slid a number of times. One of the things that you work on with teams when you come back after the off season is your kick speed, your feel, and that feel comes from repetition, and they haven't had any repetition. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Good. And got the roll, now may have rolled it into the hole, sitting T-line edge of the button. As we bring you up to date, blank between uh, Aslan and Howard. The uh, youngsters, the Canadian junior champions out of Whitby, pick up a single against Bodger. And uh, a blank between Colton Flash and Karsten Sturme. And in that Rooney Botcher game, Brendan used the only guard in play to bury completely in the eight foot on his final stone. And that forced Landon Rooney to draw to the four foot, and he did. Coming through. Keep going. Yes. Don't roll. Oh, yeah, he got a roll. It's fine. Good. And basically replaces it, moves it to Port. the side of the button. 11-2. Give you a hair more. No problem to get at this thing. And they're going to try to roll away this time, which I think they tried last time. Keep some separation. Get away from that guard. Clean. Good way. Lord. Clean. Clean. Yep, yep, yep. Whoa, 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 clean, Ryan. Whoa, clean, clean, clean. Yep, 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 hard. Take the, I get the roll. Nice uh, good play. Good shot. Good job, buddy. You know, even those little things, managing the stone down the uh, the ice. They've all both, all these players have been in that situation, but just the nuances of working with somebody else. Oh, no question. Yeah, exactly. And who's going to be the boss? Who's the inside brusher? That the inside brusher is about 80% effectiveness, 20% for the outside. So what's happened with this directional brushing is the outside brusher is really there to call the speed. But you've got to get that together. Oh, yes! 10-5. Not enough to okay. uh, push yeah, it out, but they can't right. hold that shooter. Well, when you look nine, at nine, eight on that. the front end, and, and in particular, Ryan Harnden coming from uh, Brad Jacobs' team. He used to, all those years, he says he can't remember a time he didn't play with his oh, brother, yeah. EJ. And EJ now, of course, is with uh, Brad Gouju. Mm -hmm. So it's a learning for him as well. Where's the big brother? You know, where is he? Where are you supposed to be here? Yeah, there's no question, all those type of things. They spend so much time, you know, in um, hotels, the airports, the throwing rocks, the games. It, uh, it has to take uh, some time to adjust. Some people are going to be better at it than others, too. No, it can, and, you know, Kathy, being with people like that, all your, it can take a toll. Huh? It, it can, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ask Cheryl. And his only day, well, he left. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm contemplating how long it'll take me to walk home. We drove her away. <laughs> but it is a really good point. Beyond being brothers, when you play with someone your whole life, you feel like you're missing something on the ice in the absence of that person because they know what to give you when mm. you're not playing well, whether to say something or not. And those are things that teams learn about each other, but you don't learn in the first month or so of curling. Oh dear. Probably a bit more ice, but he was tight again. Yeah. What do you say? 
It's a little tight. It, you might need more, but it was both were tight. Try and yeah. queue yeah. up the double. That's what I, was I got saying. ten three. Was so your last right, one was yeah. nine eight. So. Yeah. On those interns, yeah. Yeah. give me a little bit extra. Okay. Is my Is it easier get? I don't think so. This intern doesn't go crazy. Okay. Yeah. Just like that. Yeah. 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 Now back, How's this look? Back to what we talked about earlier, Vic. The only saving grace for Smith here is that guard, but it's so long. And there's an opening on the outturn side, too, so wherever he eventually goes, Dunstow can get it out of there. So, what a lot of teams used to do in this case is they'd go top four, top eight, but if you're on the button, yeah, yeah. Then Smith freezes. If you're short, it's really another guard, so they're actually going to go behind the T line here. I really like the play. All because the guard's so long. Okay, line's good. You rarely, Vic, in this sport, rarely intentionally throw one behind the T line, but this is one of those times. Real good line. Hit a row. Almost well, back 12. Yeah, it go goes ahead. against convention, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Yeah. Here we go. This line. Hard line. This line. Hard right to it. Got to go. Okay, guys. Good. good. Out, just, no, no, and right down to the stone just outside the rings. So sitting three. Yeah, good job, Great sweep. Are we on nose of that? Are we second? Ten and a half right here. It's not more, it's not going to hurt. Yep. We have a roll, hey? Yeah, roll in front of it, hey? Yeah. yeah. Adam had 10 on the nose that last one. Uh, I had 10, 3 on the one he just threw, okay. and then 9, 8 on the one before. So I th I'm thinking. Well, let's go, uh, Kathy. First update and dropping on Felix Asselin yeah, against uh, Glenn so Howard. Both, and uh, it is uh, Asselin that is sitting on the lid. That, to me. that yellow stone that is okay. second shot was Glenn Howard's first. He played the freeze, and Felix was trying to come right on top so that even if Glenn makes the tap, it's for the single, but he went deep. And so for Glenn, trying to repeat the first throw, but about a couple of feet more, if he can make the tap tap, two is in play. Close, close, close. Close. From the Penetanguishing Curling Club. Scott Howard at third, David Mathers, well, yeah, keep going, Tim March, keep going, keep going. and it's March on the brush. Go. Bang. Oh, don't spin too far. And it may have. Settling yep. for just the one. Got I think it's two. I think it is two. Yeah, two yellow. Thank you, fellas. Hell of a scrub there, Timmy. I had no chance. Yeah, that Tim March oh, made that yeah. rock move about three feet. I, I, I think it did. It, oh, it was lots of ice. <sighs> Doesn't get enough. Uh, doesn't get enough props in a in a country fine. with such great brushers. He doesn't yeah. get the uh, kind of recognition, does he? Talk. No kidding. I talked to Wayne Madaw a couple times uh, when he spared for Glenn at the Briar, and he, he's because Wayne really hadn't played with the directional brushing, and he said it was unbelievable. He said, you, you know, a shot that you knew out of your hand had no chance. All of a sudden, he, it was. Close, close to perfect at the other end. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Clean. Clean. Yep. On the light. Yep. Matt Dunstone. Wait's good. Clean. Clean. Whoa, 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 clean. Whoa, whoa, whoa. clean. Clean. Just clean. 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 Boy. Good throw, Matt. Good throw. Good throw. <laughs> Little on the soft side, way. but close. A good way. Good call, Beach. Right here. About a quarter? Yeah. It's I'm actually going to try to hit this thin onto the back one, hit half the back one and make the double to still concede a chance for two. Tough shot, about half a rock, three quarters of a rock. I it into it. I mean, I roll, roll in front, he's just, it's not really hard. Even if he jams it, it's staying in on our, like, on ours behind Oh, yeah, makes sense. Okay. Yeah. It's about a third of a rock. Okay. Okay. Let's go, guys. Okay, you got her. Had two over curls here by a lot. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, God. 
And Sorry. enough to push it through. You know, you wonder. I thought it was. Yeah, it you wonder it if good. he. I thought it was close halfway down. Greg was yeah. icing. Remember, back. Adam said to me <laughs> on the interns, I want you to give me a little bit more. And I'm wondering if, in fact, Greg, <laughs> in thinking about that, may have iced himself differently. Yeah, we all do it. You know, he'd watch two of them over curl. One of them was almost a complete miss. So I think in his head, he's going, I've got to be firm with this one. He just threw it a hair too hard, probably, because they liked it halfway down. So an open draw for three for Matt Dunstone and the team from the Fort Rouge. Exactly where they practiced. And, you know, Matt and the team will know exactly the speed here. Thinks it may be a little light out of his hand on stone. So a lot on the left. Ryan Harnan on the right. Wow. This would be unforced if you can't drag it there. A little bit more. Can you? Can you put it on your back? Oh, and they did. Wow. A heck of a sweep indeed. Dunstone with a little help from his friends Lott and Hart and get three. Wednesday night here in Fredericton, New Brunswick and our opening day coverage, the uh, points bet invitational and our feature Matt Dunstone seated number three out of Winnipeg against the 14th seed and a viewer's choice for the field. Greg uh, Smith from St. John's Newfoundland and Labrador Dunstone cracks a three. And so we go to the third now and Smith once again with last rock has the hammer playing the red stones. Mine's real good. Start to go. Start to go. Dropping in on the uh, the game between the reigning Canadian Junior Champion Landon Rooney out of Whitby, Brendan Botcher and his brand new team from the Glencoe in Calgary, and Rooney is uh, showing some signs of life here. Well, he had to freeze, and this is the pick attempt. And he'll pick it, lose one, and score two. It looks like. Just a five. Now Landon Rooney, a wonderful Where, draw on the feet. first end to the forefoot for the single. Four. And facing three, Line put grades. it right as good as he could on the lid. Gotta be full 12. But just that little bit of space allowed Brendan to remove it. Okay, get a biter, guys. Come on, guys. Come on. With a brand new team, Mark on, Kennedy, Brett Galland, and Ben That's Hebert. Fine, right so That's fine. Kennedy and Hebert are together Here's again. <laughs> After their time with Please Kevin Martin, of course, and the gold medal in Vancouver. Well, you can't win on paper, but that's uh, that's probably the best lineup in Canada right now. See how they do. It goes long to won their first spiel. You can send your cards and letters to Mr. Russ Howard. <laughs> <laughs> because I mean, there's lots of great teams. I mean, oh, yeah. I, I, no, I mean, listen, I sure. understand. Uh, Just over on this but, uh, line. Uh, sure, Mr. Guju would take issue with that. Oh no, for sure. There. Even Everything Kevin Cooey in his new lineup. It's five, Colton. Well, I think in defense of Russ, Thank we you. talk about unicorns in curling, and Mark Kennedy is considered one of the most ultimate players. Yeah. He does everything well and is a great team support. We looked at Breck Lant over the last couple of years. So it does sort of feel like an all-star team. And then you have Ben Hebert, who's won everything that there is to win as well, including the Olympics. So when you put a lineup in front of a guy who is all about process, he's an engineer by trade, and he's very linear in his thinking. So you add that to a bunch of talent, it's pretty hard to bet against that. Yeah, it's a, you know, Botcher's uh, skipped in four briars in a row. Won one of them, lost the final three times. It's, where's the weak link? But to Vic's point, there's a lot of, a lot of solid teams here. 
Sturme after blank in the uh, first picks up a single against Colton Flash and that is a seventh seed flash against number no 10 Sturme. Only if you have to. Right. Always Ryan once you're over. Ryan once you're over. Ryan's good. Okay. Well, no, we got a bit. line. Too much line. You really got pretty go. good. Hard right. right to stop. Right Hard to Ryan. stop. Hard guys. Right to stop. You can't stop. Say good. That's good sweep. Ideal. Good, good job, Colton. Not a boy, Colton. Oh, I'll say it's bad. Chris Ford as we play second stones. Very nice. Well, he leaves those two stones overlapped up top, just covering the edge of the stone top edge of the eight. Tight half. DJ Newfeld. We're two. We're, we're, Where only are we? now. we're only halfway now. Coming down. We're only half. Gotta be stop. careful. Why? If it's heavy, it's gonna over curl on them. Two thirds. Gotta stop. Just pass the logo. Yeah. Be, good. Talking to VJ yeah, before the game, shot. Kathy. You know, he he echoed what you said. It's business now for many of these top teams. Yeah, and you know, when it was built uh, on friendships or or family, those days are are basically gone. It really is about finding like-minded individuals who are going to be prepared to commit and to work hard and to travel and to miss events and do all those things that you want to do. And if you can create a friendship within the team, that's terrific. But like at business, you don't have to be friends with your no. colleagues, but you have to find a way to work together. And that's what the teams are doing now. Don't I know it. Exactly. Um, <laughs> But I thought the other thing he was, because we're, I was trying to relate it. What's his thought here, Mr. Smith? Has he got to open it up? Well, it's, it's getting a little late for that, Kath. We can come around. This is not another call. This, I don't hate this actually at all. We run, yeah. We could do this, right? If we miss it, it's... Uh... Well, if we miss it, we're getting at least this one gone. Yeah. And we have a path. Yeah. Let's do this. Okay. I thought 3-0, so... you might go around everything, Vic. Yeah, peel. Well, yeah, because the uh, shots don't stop edge of the no, eight. Yeah, it's, it's a guard. Run that side right into the yellow one. But his point was that he does feel eventually that you okay, alluded to it, that everyone has their spots and will play their spots, don't want to look and move up and down. This isn't a... He thinks that eventually Dunstone will call a game and have a game plan to fit all his players. It is about knowing what each player is best at, and he's not going to call a shot that he doesn't like, but he will call a shot that he knows is a higher percentage for the player that he's that is throwing. Right, and the teams are building themselves on that too now yeah. a little bit, taking all that into consideration. Come back and in. Grab it. Oh, come on. <laughs> well, he okay. popped Sorry. it out, got Should rid got of one, it. and it popped into the hole. Good throw. Yep. They shot it opens up both sides. That's what they were trying to do. That's all I see. Unless you think you can make in turn. Uh, I like going this way. Yeah. Right? Because you ever rub anything, then it's. It's like your edge 12 line. Total wall to draw around. You're like. I think pretty close. I, I think I can go off that speed. draw that I threw yeah. back house there. Yeah, it's almost similar to that. Yeah. I think, it's, I think it's Shane Moore. Is that a... Yeah. Yeah, he barely moved the brush, did uh, Matt Dunstone. <laughs> is that a preference on his his outturn, or does he just not feel comfortable with the path on the intern? Uh, a couple things. Not at all. He's not. He I doesn't care about the outturn part. But uh, it's a veteran call, Vic. It's a little bit slower out here, but they're saying if we play this turn and we tick the guard, we tick the guard into a center, which could play dividends later. Smart call. Four. Four. 
That guard, if they'd hit that one over, they'd have a couple guards to draw around if they get into trouble. You guess beautifully. Nice shot. So back to Sheet A. If any of it or no. As you yeah. see, Martin Kret yeah. has the uh, brush down for Felix Asselin. Down 2 nothing to uh, Glenn Howard. And Felix has been about four Felix. feet off on his draw okay, weight. He was last in and came deep. On this end on his first. first, he was trying to play a tap, Think only so. moved it a couple of inches, so. and that allowed Glenn Howard to make the double to lie three. Hard. Now needs okay. full eight, almost wow. a bite of the four. Oh boy, does he yeah. ever. Full eight That's indeed. Emile Asselin, Jean-Francois Trepanier on yes! the brush. Oh, and he's going to yes! come up light. Yeah. It'll be a steal of two. Cuts. We mentioned that Asselin yeah. was throwing the four stones yeah. for uh, Michael Fournier for uh, a number of years. They went four and four in uh, Lethbridge last year, and now he is uh, skipping the team. That might be the best right where my broom is. If we get, oh, well, because I think he's gonna go in turn wrap to here. That's what I'm saying. Like leave that half open the six. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. We're on the right. Anywhere on this, yeah. we got the right idea. Yeah. Tight. So go for tights and. How's that look to you? Should be good. Maybe a hair more, if any. Kind of like anywhere from just out and cover in half to like bite the eight foot. Way to stagger, you're gonna you're gonna hit a piece of it, right? You've got. Uh, I didn't expect it to go there, but I think it's probably just a bit. Three Manitoba here. Tuckers here, uh, basically, yeah. Vic and uh, Ryan, who I'd call a Thunder Bay Tucker, which is close enough to Manitoba, so he's he's kind of half tuck, half flat foot, but it makes it better for the skipper here to read. You know, BJ and uh, Matt were on the same wavelength when it came to putting the broom down here partly because of the same releases. Yeah, all of them with that uh, last touch with their nose. That's Hi, right. <laughs> exactly. Tight. Tight. Hit it if you can. Tight. Hit it if you can. It's over curling. Halfway. Yeah, okay, okay. I think just leave it, guys. I think just whoa, leave, it. Whoa, whoa. leave it. Leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it. I'll get that. Good weight, though. Like they just get chewed yeah. up. Sniffer got up. Is that? They just get chewed just, up, or? I just, I just think it was just never really. Off the beach. So it might have just got. Just took off. Took off. Okay. The weight was great. Weight was good. Ah. Uh, throw boards. A little bit more. Not where he wanted to leave that. No. It's wide open. Now you can roll behind anything here and put some pressure on Dunstone. You do want to roll like towards this? center line, though, don't you? Yes, for sure. I, I don't think so. You've got think two to roll behind. Pretty close on the ice we got down there. All right, Greg, board yeah. right now. Where did you have on mine? I had you to get around was edge. Yeah, that's probably what you needed to. Would have been close. Jeez. Maybe maybe that much less than edge. Yeah. All right, well, it's, it's a good rule here. You'll have it on. Board. Close. Board down. Yep. Don't think. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Hard. Yeah. Greg Smith, his Hard. first great opportunity here, but they yes. got to get it by that center guard first. And it is going to be a fight. Yes. Yes, yes, Real yes. fight. Oh, perfect. Go, 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 go. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Just a little yeah, rub button. up top, <laughs> and now he pushes that Dunstone. Rock right underneath. That, that could tight? not have worked out worse. Not a ton of rotation, not a ton of speed. He's, he's been underthrowing him a little bit. Worst idea to take even more than that, and then if we got to carve it, we we can. There's a yellow double at this point. Was, uh, I don't think it'll do a whole pile. So I think you, Matt wants this right in the forefoot. Yeah. 
Did you hear Smith? He goes there. We can come off of this. Saying we've just got to take more rice, and if we yeah. need the rushers yeah. to help us over, we'll yeah. do that. But yeah. they're trying, maybe, Kathy, trying to play too fine a game when they haven't played that kind of a game. But they're playing the kind of game they'd like to play, but Is they just Cole don't have the reps in to feel confident right. making all of those. Yeah. It's tough to uh, replicate this type of surface too. Oh. So you're right. They're just not quite believing the curl. Room. T, no. T, T line. Got quite a bit of room. Hey, wait's good. Wait's good. Line's good. Line's good. We're not having you. Top, Line's top good. four. Get a room. Top button. Yeah, you definitely got room. Colton's top tight. Top button. Top. Line's Lines good. you can Lines on this line. Colton's tight. tight. Colton's tight. Half the curl, guys. Half yep, the just go. Half the curl. You gotta go. Just go. Hard, hard, hard. You gotta go, Colton. Hard, good, good, hard. Good, good, yes. Good. yes. Hit this on the good spot. Oh, yeah. oh, to sit three oh, okay. without last rock. Austin. Good toss, Matty. Just okay. shade less ice, I Scott. guess. Yeah. Having a hard time yeah. getting it there. I think, I mean, for me, I just look a little bit more positive than the last one. The, oh, I'd there. say. I think you'll get there. Like, do you want to play the draw? What, what do you feel comfortable throwing? Do you want to, are you? They're both tough. They're both tough, yeah. We can throw this with normal. Yeah, you don't need to over throw. Okay, right, we can play it, we, or we can even just we can play it as if we're rolling here. Yep. We just have to move it an inch. So whatever weight you feel comfortable with right now. Yeah, let me have a let me have a gawk well, out of. So that tells me a lot. When you're looking at this kind of a shot compared to just a straight draw, mm -hmm. is that him saying? Yeah. We don't have our draw weight, boys. We don't know where to put the broom down. This gives us the best chance. Yeah, it very well could be. It's I think the draw is easier, but. Uh, yeah, nobody's been sharp with the draws. They're not getting them in the right spots. I, I think this is the better option. That double's a thin double. You almost got to make it with like a board weight to be safe. You ever hit it thick, it goes through the hole. You hit it too thin, you don't get to the back one. I think he'll be close in this one as long as he gets out to the broom. It's just easy to be soft on these and they go. Okay, two line guys. Yeah. You got it. It's a great angle of it there. You need to be out to the broom here, minimum. Final stone, Greg Smith already down go. three nothing. We're playing in the third, and he's facing Just three. Yeah. Right now. Zach eight. Young. Yep. Chris yes, Ford, yes. got him. Curling hard now. Oh, it's going hard. You bet it is. Got to fight to get it by their own. There they do goes. that, and here. Can they get it by? Cut them down. And they'll cut them down to a couple. Steal a two, Dunstone. Well, if you like to uh, run, walk, ride a bike, the trail network here in Fredericton is brilliant. There's more than 120 kilometers of trails and much of it along the uh, edge of the St. John River. And let's uh, update you and we will go to sheet D at third end as it is Colton Flash against Karsten Sturme. Kathy? And Colton didn't have a lot of help from his team in this end. That redstone that you saw on the button that was his first shot facing three, came around. Karsten blocked off the front, made it a lot more difficult for Flash to get to the button to score two, but it is there if he's got the right weight. Holden Flash. Okay. Can't draw in there for the second, settles for the one. Last year went to eight and four at the uh, Briar, and of course won that gold medal when he played with Kevin Cooey. Yeah in uh, 19 but you know Colton's a good example of what's happening with the game and in terms of changes for two years he was with Cooey right and then won the Briar won the Briar but two years and they were play he was out yeah yeah uh, he didn't fit and you know we're going to see that there may be changes in some of these teams even as early as next year oh yeah, no question eight. There always is. I think we're in a unique situation this year. It's the first time that the first year of the quadrennial
doesn't count for points towards the Olympic trials. And so there is no risk to do all sorts of things this year, but next year starts to matter. And so will we see teams in the men and women's at the end of this year? I think almost for certain we will. What, changes? Yes. Yes, absolutely. And as, and as Colton proves, you could have it after two years. I think, you know, I, to your point, I think you will. Maybe that two years out, Kathy. I understand, you know, they, they look at those points and the Canada Cups will start. Uh, that's another argument about whether it should start this year. But. And I think that one of the things that you're looking for this year is not just talent. The teams that changed, they went after talent. They didn't go after personalities. But once you get on the ice with four people, it's do you feed off each other? Right. What is that chemistry? Because that is an undefiable oh. extra nugget that you either have or you don't. And you can try to find it. But if it's not there, then you cut your losses at the end of this year and, and look for mm -hmm. that magic. Yeah, yeah you'd know it yourself, Kath, that it, it sometimes uh, it might not even be the four absolute best players yes. at each position. It's that chemistry. I know even when I play with Brad and Mark and Mike, uh, the, the, it, we, just, we just hit it off somehow, and it just it, it made a big difference. No, you need talent for sure, but... You're right, four great players. If you remember years and years ago for the Olympic trials, one of the things that was considered is putting four hand-picked mm -hmm. people together, mm -hmm. and it didn't work. No, no. It didn't work in the United States. No. Schuster was the leftovers, and he won the Olympics. <laughs> that's right, so that's, right. that's what happens when you get chemistry. Well said. Chris Ford. Back four. Five nothing. Dunstone leads as we play here in uh, the fourth. First ever points bet invitational. Where? Where? Back twelve. Back twelve. And of course you uh, you win, you move on, and win four games, and you take home a lot of money. Another rub there. So some things are a little bit different here. Sixteen teams, both sides. And it is one game elimination. You have to play a minimum of eight. You get two 90 second timeouts. This is where it's a little interesting. Yes, 38 minutes, but you get 19 in the first, 19 in the second half. So there's no banking that time. And of course, you win the four, it's $50,000 going to the winner. We can do this. First impressions, Kathy, of the 19 and 19 is what? You know what? It's still the same amount of time that teams had. I think the idea of 19 and 19 is don't run them up and down for the first couple because it's not going to help you in the second half. So you might as well play for the entire game. Didn't see teams getting really tight a whole lot, but it is about clock management and after being off for a year, the tendency might be for people to play slower. This doesn't let you. I like it. Good. Ten. Trying to roll five feet here right behind the uh, yellow, yeah, behind the red. It's pretty close. And we'll tuck a little bit underneath the yellow, but not quite. Newfeld. See, Brian. Same way. Well, the junior champions out of Whitby and uh, Landon Rooney come back with a single and three to tie Botcher at two. Yep. Oh, it's good. Close. Oh, yeah. 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 Yes. 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 Zach Young okay, is. You're, you're putting on those. Okay. Brushed a lot so far. We're only in the fourth. 
you have to draw around this way. If anything, make in a perfect world, eh? Roll it a couple of rocks. But yeah, I think just rolling it to the center line is yeah. quite good. Yep. I mean, I don't, I don't mind hammering it over either. Control right here. Okay, I like it. Yeah, just anywhere here. Just, just stay it close to that four Control, foot. Control, try and roll it Colts way. Yep. Okay. Obviously gets down to that chin on the ice, Manitoba. But watch the release here. He kind of hangs on to the end of the handle. There's more and more players doing that. Gives you a little more leverage, a little more rotation, because you need rotation with these stones. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa clean. 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 Yep. Whoa. Yep. Whoa. Whoa. I heard him say bit, roll it Colt's way. So they want to go towards boy. Colton Lott, and they do by a stone. Wait. You know, we often talk about <laughs> uh, that, Kathy. Uh, you know, rotation on arena yeah, ice, you want it. Yes. But so there has to be a balance, no? It, I mean, arenas on arena, I understand. But ice and arenas it can be different, too. You don't, your, your rotation isn't always the same, is it? Well, it's, it's not. If you're playing on very straight, you want to have a very slow rotation so that it'll actually move. But I think the best case in point is Bruce Mowat's great team out of Scotland. A ton of rotation. They all throw it. They throw it all the time, and they get the same results that they're expecting. So we used to think that too much was maybe not a good idea, but it's consistency that really is the factor. Because you said earlier today yeah, there was a situation where you thought somebody put a lot of rotation on and the stone would glide. Sure. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But the lack of rotation now is, is uh, the it big problem. It's dead. Really hard. Yep. hard. Really hard. Ten five. Really hard. Here again. Hard. Zach Young. Hard. Ten five. Uh, okay. Well, you got to the nose. I kind of helped it and I was late, hey? Uh, pretty pretty good. Good. Sure. It has been run backs in this end for Felix, trying to get the shot stone raised by Glenn Howard off the lid. He removed one on his first attempt. Glenn came in. Glenn was trying to get to the top of the forefoot so that if this is made, it's not going to be for three, but it is for three if he can make it. And the uh, score reflective in the team uh, percentages. Asselin at 73, Howard at 90 so far. Here we go. Angle it over. Touch it. Sit down. And did he move it far enough to get at least one? One, one yellow. One yellow. Oh, boy. Oh, that was so close. It'll be a steal of one more. What a great attempt. Get hard, 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 hard. Sit. Yeah, it's good, Matt. It's good, Matt. You're trying to keep that in the center, Vic. It sounds like a small thing. Just hit it, make it go away. You're up uh, five nothing. But if you keep that on the center, it forces Smith out wide into a path that hasn't been played, and bad things can happen. Just pull the hair too far. Let's drop in again on uh, this uh, Canadian Junior Championship against Botcher. Well, tough trouble for Landon Rooney in this end. Face three on his first. He made a kitten roll, sort of tucked underneath, but enough that Brendan Botcher could get to it and then not able to make his second stone. And so all he needs is a bite of the eight foot for three, he being Brendan. Line should be good for ours now. Line's good for ours. Yeah, you can hear, uh, You're good. You're good. Kennedy. Nice throw, Botch. Good throw. Good throw, Botch. And uh, Bunch gets three. Final stone, Greg Smith. All right, guys. Needs full eight. Oh, big drag yeah, here, fellas. Needs full oh, eight. A little more. And oh, that yeah, will get him on four. the board <laughs> as he'll pick up a single in four on this, the first night of men's play here in Fredericton.
Willie O'Ree place. It's our home until Sunday when we decide the two winners of the $50,000. And on this first night of men's play on this Wednesday, our featured game is uh, Greg Smith. St. John's, Newfoundland and Labrador against Matt Dunstone from Winnipeg. Chris, you get, it's yours. Finally, Smith gets on the Here's board with okay. a single. Yeah, so uh, Dunstone has the last rock, has the hammer here in five, playing the Yellowstones. Hey, top four. Line. Line's good. T. T. T line. Top good. Top four. But Ryan had a good. interesting comment in an article I was reading because Top four. the players were watching the their Twitter and Facebook pages of all the other teams during the offseason and as as teams were making their changes and it was a wow here and woo can you imagine that? <laughs> but he Perfect. said as players. We have to not look at right all the hand. changes. We have to now concentrate. He thinks a little bit more just with on their own team mm -hmm. because you look around and you go, look at him over there playing with. Oh no, our focus yeah. should be right in. Yeah, how true. Our sheet. Yeah, the curiosity can get you for sure. Airtight. Yeah. Two. Two. One. Okay, you gotta go. You need a three. Hopefully his old skipper comes back. Right up. He's going to play mixed doubles. Right Brad stop, Jacobs, right but I'd stop. like to see him Over in the stop. men's again. Great right guy, right unbelievable right shot maker. Right right mm -hmm. Keep going. Keep and going. just Keep so going. good for the sport. Oh. So, so good. You know, we, we forgot he was one shot away from representing Canada at the Olympics. You know, that was a close game with Gushu. This is the top one, Matt. You know, we saw it earlier. You know, Tracy Fleury's another one. Clean. Missed her opportunity. And Kathy, you wonder sometimes, as players, you've you've had that opportunity, of course, in, in championships. And, but you, do you ever wonder if you ever get that opportunity again? Oh, you do. And even yeah. when it's out. all said and done, when you yeah. look back, Rapid you don't fine. think about necessarily your wins. You think about those losses that, you know, you could have won a Canadians or a world and what would have happened. But there's there's no guarantee, especially as you get older and the commitment is higher and you're trying to stick handle a job and a family, it, it just becomes overwhelming when you think about four more years. Okay, you got to go. Well, it leads to changes and decisions to be made. Didn't, uh, didn't BJ Newfeld say that he's left his position as a golf pro yes. and he's taken up the real estate he's about to get his real estate license you which you know very well and it's he said with the curling the way it is it's better for him it's better for his wife it's better for the family mm -hmm. and the combination of things yeah exactly it's, you have to make it the thick way you got to make it all work it's a, it's a puzzle for sure we're probably we're ripping Stop here. Rock. I can take a run at it it's always just gonna jam it's interesting because Wait, you yeah. can relate to being the golf pro as well. I mean, that's, that's, yeah, and, and, and the real estate, to, yeah. And it just came to mind. Yeah, that's true. But all those things as a golf yeah, pro, yeah, you're not, uh, you're there, yes, to give Mrs. Smith her lesson, yeah. but then you're, you're, you're working the pro shop. You're having to manage that and yep. everything else yeah, around no, it. It's yeah. so time consuming. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we, uh, you hate to say it, but you have to look at some of the other countries. That, uh, they're worrying about curling a lot of those players, and that's it. Mm -hmm. Tight. I thought they were going to play the double peel there with a four point lead. The only rocks that can get them into trouble are those two guards. This one's picked. Hard, just Tight, go. Hard. Just go. Don't stop. Don't stop. See if you can get this top. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Stay cool. Stay cool. That grabbed something, unfortunately. Just stop for yep. first pick I've seen, Vic. Yeah, I don't remember one no. earlier, no. You 
a little bit. Where? Line, line. Line. Hard yeah, right. line. It's good. You got to go. Got to go. If they can wrap gotta this go. around and get the shot stone. Go. Oh, it's going to be a fight. Yeah, see how it's out. Well done. Boy, very good well done. Up. Great yeah. brush. Good throw, good Adam Bolden, but Ford and Young on the brush. brush. Really good scrub in there. Sleeping. I uh, gave a bit of an Adam. Stand by. Yeah, see you on it, see Well done. Beauty shot, Adam. Yeah, shot. beauty shot indeed. Pretty nice ad. Yeah. Well, clean. Horses. Dunstone yep. to do. They do yeah. a little cleaning up. Right to with it. BJ right Newfeld. To Bonus to kick that red one out in uh, the open. Easy to remove now. What are you thinking, Greg? I don't need this. Greg's quite a bit that way. I'm pretty surprised. Yeah, I did. I mean, if you're if you're right here, he gets we here. We're a... forgive it. I think we're just going to have to go for a blank, hopefully. Okay. Ten ends, that's nice. <laughs> I think we got to nose this. What do you, what do you like? I'm fine with this. Ten and a half, Pretty eleven. Patient call here. You, you know the Dunstone team. I think it's one of the reasons it's the Dunstone team. That you, that you know they're going to hit really well. You're not going to get any mistakes that way. So if you try to freeze, set up a double, could be ball game. Oh dear. Just a Didn't you, you and I were talking before the game. Didn't you think that Adam Bolin just has a little problem sometimes with his delivery? Yeah, absolutely. No, no question, Vic. You took the words out of my mouth. Adam's uh, very square in the hack. The rock's in a good position. But watch what's happened. I think his slider scratched a little bit. Once he gets up on his toe, watch his back foot. It twists around, twists around counterclockwise. He, he's aiming at us, not the broom. So the body gets a little tight. He has no choice but to back it up. And he backed it up a little too far. He yep. oversteered on that one. Hard. Really got to go. When you have a rudder foot, Vic, everybody's got that fast right back foot now. You've Look. lost that yep. rudder. Yep. And it's difficult to stay square. If you're not square, it's counterproductive. Good job, Get sweet, they get that stone off the corner and sitting three. Remember now, Dunstone does have the hammer. Whatever. Has last rock play as you play in man. five, and he leads 5 1. So it could really yeah. Yeah. break it open now. Turn. Bit of curl. Is that something yeah, correctable, uh, Kathy, do you think, with uh, somebody like Bowling? Oh, everything's correctable. It's just it, if you start the season in a bonds bill, you don't have a chance to correct it. If you're practicing, then you've got lots of time. But he's going to have to try to fix it mid-game. Nose makes the no, nose makes the hit and roll nose, on top of yeah, this pretty difficult. Yeah, because he can draw here. That's I like this. The pure roll. Yeah. He, I do too. Roll here, he can. Yeah. No, I, I do too. Around the beat. Control right there. Yeah. You know, with the Same way spot. the yep. the number of teams at the top level, the number of games they play, Kathy practice, as in uh, right you know many pro sports. Uh, you know, you hear yep. NBA teams yeah. say, "We're on the road. You're traveling. You don't have a lot of time for working on things." Is curling becoming more like that? And I think it's a mistake, to be really honest with you. I think that, you know, planning your schedule and your pace is really important. It's ideal to play in a couple, have a couple weeks off, or at least have a week off every now and again, because you can't get better and you can't work on things as a team and as an individual when you're in the middle of a game. You're just trying to make the shots. And so having that balance of playing time and practice is really, really critical to being better. Blessing you, Beach. Look at the Beach. numbers being put up by this you. team. Yes, I mean, everyone, all four Mark. of them. Mark. Harned and Watt, Newfield, Dunstone, all 90-plus. Right to it, Colton. Right to it, right to it, right to it. Clean. Just clean. As I said in the, I think it was the first oh. end, uh, it's the type of team you don't want to get behind. 
They can hit. Nice thoughts. Pretty close. I think you just roll now. And I think we saw this afternoon, Russ, that this kind of ice is much easier to hit on mm -hmm. than play precision draws, particularly in the second five. So you get down and you have to play more. It's tough. No question. Well, explain why. What's why is it about the ice? What is it in the second half? Because we can roll. Well, what we saw this afternoon, yeah. and that's all we have to go on, is that spots started to flatten out. We were timing 16 in the first half. We were getting to 13-5 in the second half. That's a dramatic difference. We saw Carrie Enerson come short two draws in a row, and on her second one, she came even lighter and said, that was a better throw. And so it's confusing the players. And so when you're trying to make precision shots when you're down, you need confidence and draw weight, and it gets trickier as the game goes on. All right, so you're saying if the teams that aren't playing tonight or the women's teams, that are, everybody makes their debut tomorrow, Russ, is go after it in the first five. Yeah, it's the old Madaw theory, isn't it? Right. You, when your ice is at its best, but it, it, you know, it's it's the first game, first spiel for a lot of these teams. It's also the first for Dave Merklinger. He's got to figure the building out, and it's good. It's just not quite identical in speed all the way across, and it's catching these teams. It'll probably get better as the week goes along too. We got a bit of a trigger happy uh, timer. <laughs> uh, I don't think so. It's interesting as you see the uh, Smith team with just the 12 seconds left on their uh, clock of the 19 and now down to uh, 107 and 106 of the yep. 19 okay, for please. Dunstone final stone looking to yep, uh, hit yep. here for a yep. possible yep. three yep. You gotta go gotta go lot and coming up to it hang around sure enough right there Add three more Dunstone very much in control here through five. Yeah. Up 8-1 as he looks to move on here at this first ever points bet invitational. Breaks last ball. All right, Kathy, let's go over to uh, drop in on the uh, rookie team from uh, the Rooney team who are the junior champions from Whitby as they play Brendan Boncher. Well, Landon was facing four on his first one, made a soft hit and roll underneath. Brendan couldn't get to it, and so he played a hit and roll on his final one, came off his own to move the redstone belonging to Rooney out of the way to lie the three. This is a draw to the forefoot. All right, Austin Schneider, Jacob Jones, Scott Mitchell. Wait only. Wait only. Is the third. And Line's good. Line's good for T. Straight. Draw against one, two, three, four. Oh, How do easy. you like that? Sit down. That will work. Goodness. Against four. Landon Rooney keeps the team alive from the Whitby Curling Club. Yeah, thanks. Thank you. The 2022 Points Bet Invitational is brought to you in part by Home Hardware. Here's how by Scotty's Facial Tissues, the tissue for any issue, by BKT Tires and OK Tire, and by Tim Hortons, the official coffee of Curling Canada. Well, it's been a struggle to say the least, and uh, you can imagine. They very basically had a little bit of a practice yesterday at one of the local clubs, and it's uh, showing in their game. Kathy, as you look, 8-1 on the board, and you see the difference and statistically it's those unforced errors we uh, always talk about them you know you just leads to a team getting something off it correct it really it really is it's when you have opportunities and you don't take advantage of them so a combination of that and that ties into those percentages that board is weighted so far to the right in terms of numbers there's no surprise the score is what it is Matt Dunstone and the team looking very sharp as they look to move on to the Elite Eight here in Fredericton.
on the women's side of things, we've already eliminated four teams with their play uh, this morning. We'll get a look at the other eight teams uh, tomorrow. And I'm interested, uh, Kathy, as you are, to see this Holman team now with Tracy Fleury skipping, but Rachel Holman, of course, she's uh, throwing the four stone. Goes against Suzanne Burt with Colleen Jones, who's uh, still throwing and playing as a senior, but she'll throw the third stone. And what about Caitlin Laws for uh, her brand new team as well? So we'll see them all in our coverage tomorrow. And Kathy, let's get you right back to work. We'll update what's going on on She Day. And it's uh, Felix Aslan against uh, Glenn Howard. And once again, he's facing a sea of granite. It is two yellow stones on the lid belonging to Glenn Howard, trying to run the stone just sideways. Oh. No, oh, did he? He moved it far enough? Well, that was not the call shot, but that was the outcome. So he'll get on the board, pick up his first in five. Sorry, Ed. At least I didn't go for like four or five. Sorry, Ed. Sorry, Scott. And you can hear the apology, actually. Oh, she was a winner earlier today. Kelsey Rock out of Alberta. She was a winner over uh, Dartmouth's Christina Black. And so she'll uh, move on. And then on the right, Carrie Galusha. She gets her first action tomorrow. And of course, Casey Scheidegger team is here, but without their skip. So they'll see their first games tomorrow, getting a look at this. And the ice getting a sense of it. Eight to one. Matt Dunstone under the Fort Rouge in uh, Winnipeg with the uh, with the lead, and it is Greg Smith with the last rock. He has the uh, the hammer, playing the red stones. So now we're back. The clocks have been reset, and we're into our second 19 minutes of uh, thinking time. Neither team has used one of their uh, two timeouts available. Colton making short work of that one. Hey, touch on a minus five. You didn't touch that one, did you? Yeah. Uh, on two. Where? Two, halfway. Two. I think you're in. Yeah, I don't, we don't want to go. Are we close. to this? Yeah, yeah well, we're, we're coming down, but it's okay, it just. We're, hard, we're higher than that. Let it die. That's fine. It's fine, Chris. Okay. It's good. It's fine. Smart call again here. The double peel's a possibility, but you could run it onto your own. Leave the red ones in the rings. And this is the one that uh, is the dangerous rock. Kathy, you're in control here. Uh, Dunstone. It's early in the season. I don't mean to uh, diminish Greg Smith's play here. But are you working on something here if you're uh, Dunstone's team? For Dunstone's team, early in the year and even late in the year, the, the objective is just to be better. And so in a situation like this, you won't see this team let up at all. They want to learn the ice. They want to figure out every spot that they can. Assuming that they move forward, they want to just take advantage of the stones and knowing them because in this event, you're not assigned color. The higher seed gets the choice mm -hmm. of color. So they're going to want to know, are these stones that we want to play with? And how are we going to throw stones? We're going to go outside in. Everything is a learning opportunity, especially with the new team. Great chance for Matt to learn like how BJ throws certain you're stones like because they, they're still yeah. new. Mm -hmm. So you yeah, don't squander an opportunity just, just because just you're up. Like, yeah, just, just yeah, just through. It's often an overused 
term, I think, among some players, you know, they, they watch each other. All I know him, I've watched him for years, but it's a little different when you get on the ice, right? Yeah, and you're no, playing with that person. Yeah, no question. What's it, uh, what did we hear from Kevin Cooey that the three guys he's picked up are a lot quieter than he, than he expected? Yes. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, sure. No, he's got Proch old Botcher's old front end. Yep. And, of course, uh, Tyler Tardy Hard. at third. And Hard. Yeah, they're... Uh, they're all curling mimes, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, it takes time. I just, uh, best team I ever played with ever was my brother with Wayne and Pete, and uh, we struggled for four or five events before it seemed to click. Three, four. You got your need T. Line. Let's draw around. Yeah, you got to go, though. Yeah, we're only four. Okay, a biter's fine. Yeah, starting to warp a bit. Yeah, it's really yeah, yeah, curling, yeah. going to run out of paint keep here. Going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Sorry. Right. Yeah, it's been a struggle for uh, Adam Bull. And yep. he's, he's the low man on the ice at 61% prior to that throw. Yeah, kind of got caught on my finger at the end. What? Kind of got caught on my finger when I went to I was, Yeah, I was like, uh, <laughs> I was like, he's definitely Haley trying to warp around something. <laughs> I thought the speed was a bit soft. Yeah. Uh, I th think he's just guarding us. Let's err on the side of full, like, bite the eight foot. Yeah, you don't want too long a guard with a seven point lead here. You want this tight. You, you, let, let him play the double. I think 15 to T. Uh, yeah. uh, 15, yeah. yeah. Line's good. Not twelve. You got room. Okay. Line's really Pop good. Room. A little bit of room. room. Matt Dunstone yeah. and his Line's first. Line's good. Top, top, top eight. eight. Coming down. Line's good. Just room. let it work. Let spot, it work Pete? if it's let top it work, eight. Guys. Where do you want it? Pass the curl. Where do you want it, Pete? Pass the curl. Top eight. Top eight. Whoa. Just bite the eight. We're On this there. line, just bite the eight. We're We're half just bite the eight. Bite the eight. We're half it. Yeah, that's good. Good shot. You know, look at it. They're up eight one. <laughs> Their numbers are exceptional, yeah, Kathy. Uh, <laughs> is it with an asterisk, you, these numbers? Be but their execution, to my mind, has really been terrific. Yeah, I don't think you put any asterisk against it. There's a lot of hits, and that's what this team Pretty is good. very, yeah. very good at. Uh, as a Tucker, Matt Dunstone, in his junior wins, brilliant, brilliant hitter. Colton Lott, one of the best hitters. We've seen him so much in the mixed doubles game and now going back to playing men's as well. That's what they do well. You would be surprised if their numbers weren't that high. They have not been forced into a draw game and into a finesse game in this particular game, but you don't put an asterisk because they've made the shots that they have to. Do really good. Oh, they're for real. There's no question. They lost to Brendan Botcher on the last shot, what, in the semifinal? Semifinal, yes. yeah. And he went on to win the spiel. Uh, no, this, is, this is an awfully exciting looking team that's just going to get better. Just stopped in time. I think if uh, Greg makes this double, I don't think he can roll far enough to be buried. Yep, yep, no, okay. Yep. And he'll drive it by. It's not good. Yeah. I have to slow there. One. Control? Yeah, I think yeah. so, Matt. Nibble the eighth is. Uh, yeah, just bite top. it. Little carpet under there? Yeah. Same way is pretty good, Matt. Yeah, just nibble the eighth. Same spot.
Still room, 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 I know what you're saying about keeping your fingers on the handle, like that, yeah. but it always worries me with those electronic handles. Yeah, exactly. that, you know, sometimes on the hits, if you get there a little too quick, and uh, oh yeah, you have to draw your fingers away. Doesn't take much. Got to go keep for going, speed going, to right, keep, keep it going. curling. Keep going. Go, 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 go. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Great feet. Pretty good, Matt. Nothing wrong with the brushing on this front end either. That's sweet. That didn't look like it was going that far. That's a pretty darn good sweep. <laughs> it's heavy draw. Have you draw? Yeah, just back forward, have it back. And that is something that we've heard a, uh, in a lot of voices like, already, Russ, is just there's, that excitement there's, there's, there's about just, uh, something new. Like, you, yeah. you know, Matt yeah. has nothing bad to say yeah. about yeah. his yeah. teams that he represented Saskatchewan with, but in going to new players, you get some new energy. Yeah, so no question about it. Not sure. How tight to that guard we have to be? Back four might, just, might not move enough. One of those, if you're throwing back eight, I mean, you need... Maybe a little less. Yeah. You gotta take. You gotta commit to the weight. Yeah. Take a little less, throw back eight. Yeah. Yeah, that should be good. Probably the toughest shot out here, because if you throw this two or three feet heavy, it won't touch the shot rock. It's been a little okay. light, if anything. Hard line. Close. Hard line. Really hard line. Yep. Back 12. Yep. And a scrub Back has started 12. already. Hey. Young and Ford, as yep. it starts to make oh. a move oh. towards that center guard. Oh, well, well done. Shot, shot. Nice, shot. nice judgment, <laughs> and they'll pick up the single. It's still Dunstone comfortably in front, eight to one. And smiling as he looks to move on to the Elite Eight. Let's go over to uh, Sheet D. Interesting that that's uh, J.D. Lind. We've seen J.D. He's throwing the uh, third stones, coaches this team. We've seen him all those years, Kathy, as the coach of the Japanese women's program and uh, working now with Karsten Sturme out of the Savile Center in Edmonton. Sturme's last rock as they play in six. He leads it, Sturme 2-1 over Colton Flash. Well, and you can see those two stones that lie in the house, so trying to force Colton Flash. There have been probably four attempts of doubles by Colton Flash's team, not able to make them, always stuffing them. And I think that he's just playing the nose hit for the single. Yes, yeah, he is. No, uh, the blank would be very risky. I didn't know if he was maybe going to attempt the draw. Right. Low scoring game has been a lot of shots made though, both teams. Yeah, they're not running it up and down. There have been no. lots, lots of rocks. Oh, Easy. Colton Flash oh, right went eight and four good. last year at the Briar as the uh, Saskatchewan Marshall. skip. And of course, Canadian Mark. champion with Kevin Cooey with the Marsh twins on the front end. Shot. And that'll be a single for Flash to tie it through six and two. When we come back, this is the game we'll stay with. It'll be Flash and Sturmey from Fredericton. Wednesday night here in Fredericton and our opening day coverage, the points bet invitation. And we've uh, switched from our uh, game to start. Dunstone and Smith with Dunstone leading comfortably 8-2. We're coming over here to the Sheet D for the game between Colton Flash Seventh seed out of the Sutherland Curling Club in Saskatoon against the number 10, Karsten Sturme from the Savile Community Sports Center in Edmonton in a 2-2 uh, tie. And as we go to the seventh, it is Sturme that does have last rock, has the hammer playing the yellow stones. Colton Flash along with Catlin Schneider and the, uh, the Marsh twins, Kevin and Daniel Sturme at skip with J.D. Lind filling in for uh, Kyle Deering. Curtis Goller and Glenn Venance is at lead. Kyle's actually out there, Victor. He's playing second this field. He's been playing third for Karsten. That's okay. Oh, 
Don't want to leave a double no. here. No, 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 no. Go around yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep you're already, you're behind it. Okay, Kev. 13-8. Too much. 13-8. It's all right. This was a 14-3. Four heavy here. This was a 14-3. Yeah, do you want it frozen? Yes. Right to it? Yes. Okay, so 14 and a half. And that's max. Yeah, right? we can, we can sweep it. Yeah. Yeah. There's Kyle. Sweep again. From East St. Paul. Lions get. Lions get. Top four. Oh, Marley, Easy whoa. Day. The greater Winnipeg area. T back four. Well then. No, don't no. look at I've it. I've seen him with uh, no, Mike no, McEwen, no, actually. No, no, no. One point in time. No, no. You're getting there. Just leave it. Just leave it. No, no, Interesting no. here, Vic. It's, all of a sudden, it's no, downhill no, for both teams. That's not right. the way to miss these no. shots. It's okay. Kyle also played with uh, like Matt Dunstone, did he not? He did. Yeah. 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 All right, let's go. Asalam and Howard. And the draw weight struggles continue for Felix, coming short on his attempted freeze on his final stone. So already lying one, Glenn looking to score two, but needs a bite of the button. And I'm watching that Probably delivery. He had knee surgery this year, and he sure looks pretty good, Russ. Does he ever? He's telling me that he's, it's, uh, he, he's just shaky early. He takes him two or three, four deliveries to get going. And uh, after that, he's fine. That's exactly what happened this game. He was He was average for the first couple of ends and he's made everything very nice for two more seven shot. one shot. There we go. that's pretty good Kyle you hit what you can see hit yeah. what you can see yeah. Shit. shouldn't do anything crazy no, right? Straight. Yeah. Yeah, right up you got it Kyle <laughs> this uh, Kyle's another one that can throw it really hard And they finally settle. We're shy, eh? uh, yeah, it looks uh, yeah. like it may be Sturme, the Yellowstone. Yeah. But not by much. I don't know, maybe I've changed my mind. Yeah. It's, it's, really, flash. it's really yeah, close, isn't it? I got think draw the button, right? I feel like it's the same at the start of the game. Yeah. Okay, that's the feel I was getting. Get it running, we can manage it there. Okay. I liked it. Close, good. Line's good. Close! Top four! Line's, Line's good. good! Top four! Line's, Line's good. real good! Top four! Nope. Line's, no. Line's good! Line's good! Line's good! Top four! Top four. <laughs> just, just top four! Top eight even then. It's over, Kurt. No, Line's good! Stay close, Kev. Oh, you're, you're, I don't have to curl a hair. Big Kev, rotation. Go, this could glide too Kev, far, also. Fine. Takes away those. Yep. Good shot. Fine. Not terrible. That's what I like. Do you like like the? I don't I like that. I don't like yeah, that. I like your first call. I like that. You got it, it's not doing anything. Eh? It's not doing much. No, I was positive with it though. Hard. You know, all those years with Japan. Oh. Uh, in fact, picked up the silver medal oh. at the uh, oh. most recent Olympic medal uh, games. Let's get you uh, in Japan. Close. Great coach. It's okay. That two thirds is probably good, eh? So that one was just back for cat. Yeah, so. like that got there easy. Yep. Yep, yeah, we did. And we just we can't have them. Yeah. Well, we just can't have them fall back, right? Yeah. I like it. I just don't Catlin it. Schneider. A little bit. Good. <laughs> Line's good. Easy guys. Wait's good. Three Briars, three different Even skips. Down, Flash, yeah. Dunstone, and Adam down. Casey. Line's pretty good. Line's good. Stay close. Curl a bit. 
Oh, that's good. Nice yeah. shot. Nice shot. Same thing, or do you want to make Frustrating end for Sturme here. Three He's got boys. three rocks in the rings with Hammer, but none of them are any good. No. If those are all in the front, you can at least tap them back and do something with them, but once they're deep. You can bring them back, huh? They frown on that. Hard, Kyle. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, I'd like to move this up. Somebody, somebody turn out the lights. There we go. And then now, how do you remove those with that backing, too? Yeah, that's just it. And there's the center guard. I don't know. Ah, like they're all Yeah, it's not good. This Colton Flash is the uh, yes. best opportunity in the whole game. Right here. Hey, you've, you've seen it come down here, you know. Yeah, it's the same as I threw a few ends, like when mm. it was quick, when it was quick down here earlier, right? Like we're still on that draw. Looks like Hatlin's looking for his That's gripper. Are we going right like no <laughs> one's saying it is that speed? I know it's not as quicker than that. Quicker? Okay. Are, we well, just 15, bite, are we just biting so. yeah. the four? That was like, yeah. What's up? Where's the ideal Bite the four. The full four. Okay, full top four. Let's go. You got her. Half of the first one. I like it. A little bit early. Okay, we can. Go ahead. Line's good. Line's good. Line's good. Line's good. Where are we? Top four. Just top four, the top four. eight. Line's go. good. Yep. Fight the four, guys. Line's really good. Whoa. It's so right. fast good. down this in turn top slot. Four. We're looking for top Kevin, Kevin, four. Man, that's, that's where they go. Nice. Just a great spot. It's hard to hit it. It's funny, I thought first indication that it's a little deeper than they put the brush down. Yeah, no, exactly. It, it, but only because of the line, I think, Vic. I think it, they wanted it a little higher to protect the back one, but then this one ended up being better than the back one. Run back double here, and it's Carson definitely going to jam on the back yellow, even if it's made properly. Knows what we're going for? Pardon? Knows what we're going for? I mean, I'm looking at the score. We haven't kept our eye on it. You have. Is this a, as many rocks in play as they've had in the game, you think? No, I would say that. There, there's a lot of rocks in play, but they've had other ends where there's been equally as many, but those were the ends that teams were forced to one as okay. cars to yep. maybe. All right. oh. 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 Here we go, his oh, no, first. No, no, no. What do you got? Oh. Here we go, here we go, bang, bang. Go, 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 go. Hard. And spin it to the back okay. edge, still right, sitting three is Flash, and shot. there's that center guard oh, too. Oh, pretty good, man. Yeah, yeah nice. Okay. Thank you. But does it look better, do you think, for uh, for Sturme? Not much. Not much at all. It, uh, the guard's the issue, Vic. This, these behind the T line, I'm sure he can get at those or be better than that, but it's this guard. Yeah, as long as A couple we're not choices. I think you can go this way, yeah. or you could actually that's still, that's just leave it there, wide open, and force him to play the wide draw. I think what they're going to do, they just played the intern. You can play it again. And. Uh, Schneider will get them to brush it deep if the line's good. Just a hair last. Okay. Top button. Well, so I think we want to be four, right. Like we want to be right here. Yeah. Full four, like a foot less or a rock less than last one. Yeah. Okay. Same throwing, same weight's same, good. Same yeah. Path. Hair tighter. Okay. But nothing that we haven't been on. Okay. Same path we've been on. It's, it's, it's Even if you like don't quite get to center, I don't think it's the end of the world. You gotta yeah. come the other way then. Yeah. I would love you guys to be splitting yep. center line top four. Yeah, okay. love it. Same way as the last one. Then. We haven't seen the out turn, but he could go that way too. Close Line's down. good. Close Air tighter. Okay, go ahead. Boy, he gave that a spin in the if he ever. Hard. Head down. Really gotta go. Head down. Head down. Head down. Head down. Uh -oh. No. Curl. 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 Both of you go. Both of you go. Now they're going to try to split the guards and uh, make Keep the going. next one tougher. And that's not going to work either. Oh, he's let him off the hook. Hey, Flash. Hey, bud. Okay. 
the internal easily. So we do have a bolt. We yeah. do have tech. Yeah. So yeah. Like, unless you want to throw the outside, I think we know this. No, right? it's the end. Yeah. Navigate the. Let him off the hook, Vic. Mm hmm. Interesting. There's no backing this way, and that's that's the way you should play shots. They know this side, and that'll make the skipper concentrate on throwing the right speed instead of trying to throw at the backing. What do you think? What do you think caught Colton there? What what what, what went wrong? He, he had to be light out of his hand, but it, let's see what he says. There, my guess, Vic, is we watched four or five slide quite a bit deep, and he might have just been spooked. He just. Just didn't trust it. Yeah. Hey, lots of line. T line back four. Hey, well then. We're close. Line's right. tight. Line's good. Tight line. Line's good. T line top four. Broom's down. Broom's down if it's close. T line little head. Head heavy. Hair big. Leave it. 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 Draw against three. Uh, you don't got it yet. It's got to just come down. Went, so just went, let, went, it went, let it grind. Let it grind. Art. Go, buddy. Go. Settle down. Go, 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 go. Settle down. Oh, I think it may have just spun that little bit too far. Close, They're going to yeah. call for the measure, but from this angle, it looks like it's red. It's red. I think you're right, Vic. It's close, though. That is that path. Yep. Just mm -hmm. so fast. Yeah. It's red, I think. Yeah. It's red? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh, good, guys. That was really the deep. Call? That was almost through the rings. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 13.8. Okay. Yeah, that was bigger. Well, I get like through four stone mm -hmm. Yeah, it just doesn't, uh, it doesn't make smooth there. It's fine. It's not at least it's only one. Calling the two thirds out. Carson Sturme just 50% on his draws prior to that one. All right, have a look from this side. Have a look yep. Okay. And exactly, it is one. One red. One more for Flash. Well, a reminder, don't miss the epic prequel to the groundbreaking Game of Thrones. House of Dragons on HBO, an original series now streaming, and you can only watch it on Crave. Three to two with that steal of one, Colton Flash out of Saskatoon, leading Carson Sturme. A reminder now, this is similar to that uh, March Madness you win, you move on. You play for more money. You lose, you go home. So it's one and you're done here in Fredericton on this Wednesday night. Good shot. shot. It's starting to grind again. I think it's on 12. Yeah, yeah, you bet. Good stuff. Like same as your draw the button. It's kind of nice. grinding shot. A touch. Nice shot. Interesting. Uh, that's what happened this afternoon. Think top 12. It's starting to slow down a wee bit in the center. It's tricky because when you throw that little extra, it might not curl into the slow stuff, and now you're deep. Wait's good. Wait's good. Top eight. Top eight. Top eight. Top eight. Frozen. We're frozen. Yep. Coming down a bit. Hard. It won't work. Yep, keep going. Okay. Keep going, the girl. Keep going. Keep going, keep going. Okay. Oh, I like that angle. Do you like running it? Sweet, guys. Sweet. Once, once it starts going, it's hard to. Just over curled a tad. Straight back. All three reds are gone. If it's hit right where that broom is. Yeah, I do. Okay, no sit. Try and keep the shooter, even if I'm a little low and roll. Okay. For another corner is fine. Feel. Oh. Hard. Whoa. Whoa. Yep. Whoa. 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 Curl. 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 Curl
Kyle Deering. And he'll unlock them. Leaves that center guard still out in front. Okay. Good shot. Yep. Didn't get quite Just what he wanted, board. but he, he's got the guard Who's usable. I Open have. things up. Yeah, but I threw I it out here. I throw a hit down here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, curl. I think you got to trust that broom. Like, be positive. Get it running. It'll come hard. What are you throwing here again? Board. 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 Get. Pretty good start for a Team Flash of two thirds this year. Didn't qualify in the other one. But this is their fourth spiel Board. already. Wait's good. Whoa. Sneak it by, they did. And he got a little bit roll as well, and underneath, lovely, lovely shot. Trust it. Trust it, man. I'm trusting it. Kevin Marsh. I hear them say the word trust it, that that broke way more than they thought. They almost lost this thing. They were kind of on off early and watch this sneak by that center. And then this. Yeah, great shot. Right underneath. Now you got that angle raise, haven't you? I guess for Sturme. Yeah, but you know, he's, he's one down. He doesn't want to roll out with this raise. He can, making the raise is one thing, but if you don't hang around, it, he might get forced to a single here. Yes! Hi! Yes! Yes! Right to it! Right to it! Right to it! Right to it! Right to it. Right to it. Running it back, sit, straight sit, back, sit, yeah. and he'll shot, open up that center good. line yeah. and spin a stone in as well. Very important to hang around. That's nice. yeah. yeah, that's good. Yeah. Okay. Boards? That rolls yeah, out. Board. In fact, they just simply cap that yeah. rock in the forefoot, and it's tough for Sturme to create some errors. Now, no matter what they do here, he's got a chance to hit and roll or go behind the corner. It's good. 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 Clean. Board. Yep. Yep. Kathleen Schneider. Yep. Clean. Clean. Wait, yep. Good. Yep. 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 Whoa. Little roll, little roll. Rolling. Oh. Good Shot. Good. Nice. Good job, Kat. Get that roll over there. Real good. Peel wait. Got to throw the out turn. Okay. You're looking for like seven eights low. The reason they're throwing the out turn is they want a higher roll. If they hit, let's say, a third of this or half of this with the seven intern, it'll roll underneath that right hand yeah, rock yeah, that's on. buried. Out turn, right? Yeah, yeah. Listen to your call here, man. Yeah. Roll good. JD hits this thick enough, he can run into that buried one, and therefore he's buried. Yep. Hard! Gotta go. Hard. Right away. Hard! Hard. Hard. Really gotta go. Got Come on, Glenn, you got it. Keep going. Had it as it was released. Now roll it over and underneath. Okay. But he got rid of both. It's a little tidy. Yeah, they wanted to stick buried if they could. We gotta play the outside where you get it running. Yeah. Did I hear somebody say you're a little tight? Yeah, I think so. That sounded like from the brushing call. I think I'm a little wider, okay. so Clean. I'd say room's down. Forward. Room's down. Okay. Okay. D-line's perfect. Back, back Line's forward. pretty good. Line. Room's down. D-line D -line back four. Yep. Yep. Go. Can't be top four. Gotta go. Gotta go. Hard go. Really gotta Minimum go T-line. Come on. Come on Minimum really T-line. Go. Right, a little farther. Go. A little farther. Okay. You're good. That's you're good. good. Oh, it's getting too far over here. It's okay now. The further you go, the more it comes. <laughs> We're just playing the nose. Nose! You like this? Control! I like trying to roll it, but. Yeah. 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 What I think they're hoping for here is a nose. Colton Flash noses, and there's a double to sit buried. If Colton cooperates. Control! Hard! Hey, Hands off for weed! Hard! Gotta go! <laughs> Hard! <laughs> Really gotta go. Hard, hard, hard right hard, up. Hard, hard, hard. Hard, you gotta go. Deering and Vanance. Oh boy. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. And enough to push it through. He's gonna lose the shooter, but no, look at that spin back. So it's a flash sitting at two. Interesting, was he narrow on both of them? 14 fives are yeah, number, but and, make sure it's nice and, and I think light now. there, that's right down the middle where that wear pattern's starting to show up, and he just underthrew it. 
He gets away with that a couple ends ago, but uh, wasn't very heavy. <laughs> Kathy, I, I wonder. Yeah. Because you've done some coaching, obviously. Mm -hmm. But uh, does he take that a little bit more? Nobody wants to throw a bad stone. But when you're a coach, do you feel more poorly about it? You know, no, what, I'm, you know what I'm saying? Is I, that I do know what you're saying, but I think that the second that he steps on the ice here, he's a player. Okay. He doesn't think he's a coach. All right. You look at the game in a very different way as a coach. It, you become very analytical about technical things and about strategy. Yeah. When you're on the ice, you're thinking about weight. You're thinking about all of those things. Okay. I mean, you're just thinking that, you know, he shouldn't do that because he's a coach. But, you know, he's, yeah. I understand. Hi, boy. I think you go to the corner now. Uh, you should know better, I guess. Well, you should, but the other thing is that, you know, that whole knowing more as a coach is one thing, but actually throwing the rock, yes. that's a different thing. Okay. So I'm not buying what you're selling. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do you know the speed's like there? All right. Yeah, what do you think? You can, yeah. you can come around to two, like, what's he going to do, you think? He's probably going to go after it. Like, it should finish enough for him to get oh, yeah. Well, the uh, Dunstone team extended their lead. They got three in uh, the uh, seventh. They're up 11-2. This is the game we started with. Kathy, final stone on the way for the skipper from St. John's Greg Smith. And it is four that he faces. It has been an elimination game for Matt Dunstone's team with rocks. I think he was trying to do around the horn. And he hit the horn. <laughs> <laughs> and one, two, three, four uh, more. So it looks like it's a 15-2 final. Yeah, you've got four. And Dunstone looking very yeah, impressive. And so that will be it. And Smith, the 14 seed, is eliminated. The number three seed, Dunstone, will move on. That was a heinous throw there on the last <laughs> one. <laughs> So Dunstone becomes the first to advance to the Elite Eight, and he will play the uh, the winner of Howard and Asalam, which is going on being played on sheet A. Two schools of thought here. I wouldn't here, take Becker. rooms off unless you're desperate. You could freeze. You could hit it, take your single eventually with your last shot. Um, or play the come around. I like it. Still keep the two alive here, albeit risky. All right, what has he got here? Howard. Uh... He's got a draw for four if he can get to the eight foot Felix. Again, struggles with the draw weight, came short on his attempt to freeze. The final stone being played in eight with a chance for four. As the ha hammer does belong to Howard. The hand goes up. And we'll put four. The hand goes up. The hands go out. And it's a win for Glenn Howard. And he will advance. And he'll go against Matt Dunstone. 11 to the final there. <laughs> so there we know our first matchup in the Elite Eight. Two teams looking very impressive in their openers here in Fredericton. Okay, quite a bit of room. Quite a bit of room. Go, in, go ahead, then. It's just dying the slow path That's here. It. Remember what oh, happened boy. to his last one last end? He just didn't get it there. Oh, boy. Really, baby? <laughs> Keep going. Don't worry about Love that call from Sturmate. It, it, you know, he, it was risky. Colton had choices. He could have frozen, which he tried. He could have guarded. Now it's a wide open hit for the two. 
The middle's fooling these guys. So not much to choose between the uh, the two skips, Flash and Sturme. Just the advantage and the up weight for Sturme. Player numbers are brought to you by New Holland. Proud sponsor of Curling Canada. So two games are done. Two games remain on the ice. Wheat's good. Wheat. Yep. Wheat's nice. Whoa. Whoa. Off. Whoa. Clean. Clean. Yeah, just clean. Just clean. Just clean. Clean. Shot, Cars. Good throw, buddy. Nice shot. Stone. Hey, good shot, Cars. There you go, Carson Sturmick. Picks up the deuce to retake the lead. Two games are finished. Two games remain on the ice. Our first look at the men's sweep 16. This one, it is uh, Carson Sturme out of the Savile Community Sports Center in Edmonton with a deuce and eight to take the lead by one over Colton Flash out of the Sutherland Curling Club in Saskatoon. And it is Flash with the hammer playing the Red Stones here in nine. I don't know. It was for a few shots, and then they were throwing 13 eights and getting into back here. So 14 fives close, 14 seven fives okay with the sweep. Okay. I don't think it's 15 is what I'm saying. Okay. Right before. Yeah. Yeah, that's quite a bit. It's okay though. I think it's heavy. Okay. Let it work then. Let it work. Okay, we can stay with this. Coming down. Coming down, down now. It's not a curl, man. Coming down now. Still has curl. On the guard. Still, still there. Still, still there. On the guard. Back, yeah, yeah, we gotta forward. slow down here. We're still on the guard. Yeah, we gotta slow down. Still on the guard. Go ahead, Kev. Or no. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay, good. Nice. Good. Shot down. Hey. Oh boy. Hey. Kyle, you gotta play with play with like Number two, forward. Brendan Boncher and his uh, brand right, new team up. against the uh, reigning Canadian right, junior right. champions out of Whitby and skipped by Landon Rooney. And Landon has made some wonderful shots. He did on his first one. But Brendan Botcher made a great double to move them back. He's he's made everything tonight, has Brendan Botcher. But this is a young man that has really impressed me in watching him tonight. They are going against one of the top men's teams in a very uncomfortable situation in an arena with all these other great men's teams. And he has just been very calm. He's made a lot of great shots, just unfortunately a little bit short and gives up a steal of two. And uh, that will be it. Boy, you could actually hear the Velcro, couldn't you? <laughs> there was. He. So 11-3 is your final. And so Botcher becomes the third to move on. No upsets so far in the seedings. As a two beats 15, a three beats 14, and six. Howard beats 11. Asselin. Very impressive. So they become the third, and uh, Botcher will now play the winner of the only remaining game on the ice, and that's Colton Flash against Karsten Sturme. Uh, we should mention before they do leave the ice that uh, that uh, Rooney team we didn't see and follow it very much, but Scott Mitchell is the uh, third on that side, and they are coached by uh, his father, Colin Mitchell. And Colin, of course, won the Olympic Winter Games uh, in 98, the silver medal with Mike Harris. That was the first time the uh, game was in the Olympics in Nagano. And he lost uh, that one, remember, to Switzerland and Patrick Hurlman. Hurlman, that's exactly right, yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah, well done, Vic. <laughs> you got that one right. I, no, oh, wow. It's only day one. <laughs> yeah. But, More than little... but you know what, Kathy, further yeah. to your point about just 25. how good and calm they are, let's give some credit here to uh, the junior programs mm -hmm. and the different avenues that they come through. They, you come through Bantams or whatever happens to be Canada Games. 
you learn to deal with the pressures. And yes, they're here. But they've played in front of crowds before. They played at junior yep. championships. Uh, it, it, the system is the system works. I think the system is really trying. There's a new U25 that was yes. held earlier this year, and that really deals with the, the people as you come out of juniors. It's such a quantum leap into men's, and there are teams that do it, but not that often. And so it's trying to create opportunities for that that bridge, if you will. But the smiles on. The Rooney's team face as they left the ice. What an opportunity to play in something like this and to play Brendan Botcher. This is a team that they've watched, obviously, and to be on the same sheet of ice, that's a gift. They started well, Kath. They weren't afraid of Botcher. No. Nope. Rooney, when I looked over, Kennedy made a raise double. He was looking at three buried. Rooney had hammer, too. He made a raise double and a thin double to get out of that mess, and then after that, the Bodger team made everything. You know, there you, to your point. Look at the smiles on their faces as they're leaving the ice. Yeah. Got a great applause from the crowd. Very appreciative of the effort put out. And how many times do you say it's about experiences and then using that in the future? So you know that they'll uh, they'll talk about some of the shots that they uh, may have missed and why did they miss them? Uh, you probably need PO. Intern or out turn. You like that? So I thought it would hit the top one. Ah. Uh, I, I think you need to hit the top on here, Kathy, because the, to throw peel through that port yeah, makes it difficult. If you're rolling under, Even if you made the roll to the yeah. button, there's an angle raise. It's pretty simple for the flash team. That top one can be, so many things can be done with it. Right. I flash if you leave it. Right. Plus, this is no gimme. Hard. Hard. Yep. yep. Hard. Hard. JD Lind. Hard. Got to go. Oh, hard. Yep. Hard. 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 Deering on the brush. Oh, they did well just to feather uh, those two stones getting through the hole. Try. And they'll hang it on the back edge of the four, but shot, looks like it may be uh, available now on that outturn side. Great shot, but no result, really. It's wide open. Good throw. Yeah, it's pretty throw good considering right it took flight there. I like it. I think that's a great shot. T line. Kev, yeah, there's something just past the center line, or just past the, the hog line, right at, right at my uh, line. Did I get Scratch, it? That scratch there. Yeah, I think so. Interesting play right here. here. I don't see any. I'm gonna play the tap. <sighs> okay, but this is the same as it was in the seventh. Okay, so what do you want? Throw 14.5? Yes. Okay. Okay, I got back right four now. right back now. Back a little bit. Back eight. Yep. Back eight. Heavy. Line only. Hard. Hard. Yes. Hard. Back four. Really got to go. Hard. Lose a line. Hard, guys. Go on, go. Hard. It's a big sneak. Hard. Hard. Oh. Oh. Maybe in a rub the yeah, other hard, way. Hard, hard, Good hard. Good gracious. That touch both guards. Wow. Tick tack and gets to the uh, four. Go on, go. Very fortunate. Well, there's your first now. And yeah, there's hard, the hard, other. Hard. Just, just took the spin down a bit, if anything. Incredible. But because of that spin, he got that ricochet mm -hmm. action, and, and that's another great reason to have that rotation. Mm, yeah, how true. Hard! 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 Got to go! You got it! Hard! Hard! You got it! Can't hit the top one. Hard! Up, 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 up. Okay, that's fine. Whoa, that's that right. could have been dangerous. Yeah, good line, Colin Turner. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's so fine. Just yeah, I think, it's a, it's a touch. I think he sucks, but I think you got to play this. Why do you have to play that right now? Can't well, really just go yeah. here. Yeah. I think yeah. we kind of have to. Yeah. Just such a this. guess on this side, you know. Okay. I like this. Just we can't be top button or it's just a gimme. Okay, well, tell me where it needs to be. Uh, just bite the four top eight even, dead buried. Yeah. Hey, you don't have to be second shot other, here. Other shot is over curling it to that back one. Okay, right? actually, just hang on. Maybe just bite the four. Top eight. We, we, we can call a timeout. Call call time yeah, you want to call a timeout there, Flash? Sure. Timeout. Yeah, let's talk about this. Timeout. 
Because, I mean, he's just going to try to, if we bury it, I guess he's going to try to make the roll, but, yeah. I know that's a shot. It's just such a guess. I know. I mean, if you could put it right here, it's great until he makes this, and then. Yeah. I mean, I'd rather give him a steal a one than get forced. Like, I mean, I guess we throw some weight at it and take some of the guesswork out. <laughs> Well, the issue is we have to roll right to here, I think. Otherwise, he's got the double, too, right? Otherwise, he has the so I guess then we just draw. Well, the other yeah. option is go for, like, blank now, right? Which give him this well, double. He's, he's not. He's going to try to roll, but if he yeah. doesn't make the roll. I still like here. Make him make this. I mean, this is really good if we were actually right there. Yeah, yeah. yeah he, I mean, he, you can always he can't hit, hit this one, one though, this jam. Yeah, I hear you. But yeah. he keeps, he keeps it's hard it's to get there, though, ball. with that guard. It's hard. Like, you see Kevin just missed it and got to here, and he's a little straighter than yours. I think let's just put it here and you just bite this. Okay. What's we can my... somehow even get it to here, I think it's better. Yeah. And I mean, right? if we're, heav it, if we're heavy, better? we take it right to that back one. Yeah, I mean, I would love to get to here, but I don't know if that's possible. It's doable. Well, it sure. is doable, but. Here, but let's right? aim for top four. Something right like that. What's the danger number? the danger with it is, is being way light, and then there's what a hit and roll have? made, Probably or being a little bit deep, and there's a hit and roll freeze type situation where what Sturme is trying to do is force. So you, you, you want to make the error light here and make them make the perfect hit and roll. That yellow one's wide open. Even top eight, mostly open, would be fine. Like where do you think my shot would end up? Last one? Just back through? Eight, through almost, yeah. Okay. Back eight, back close. Okay, I got a little hot right now. Okay. Not bad, though. I didn't close, hate close, it. Close, close, Line's close. good. Close. Line's a little tight. A little tight, yep. Got to go line. Hard line. Hard. The Marsh hard, brothers have picked him hard, up. Hard, Captain hard. Schneider. It's on four. Hard, hard. Hard. He's going. He's going. He's going. He's going. He's going. To the back here. Yep. Well yep. by. Hard, oh. Kevin. Hard, Kevin. Go. And they wanted it there. And get a peek. On the other side, a little bit, but better than a foot deeper where there would have been a red double. No red double now. So hard over there. No, I'm saying like push it. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I don't see anything else. If you're thick and you just roll, like. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's the call. You just saw mine, so like just a brush of hair Hey, Kathy. Yes, sir. So if if. To those of you who are joining us tonight for the first time, uh, there are no extra ends. Mm -hmm. So it'll be no just wait. a draw to the button. And I'm wondering like, if any of the decisions like being made now seven, seven, are the skips yeah, oh, thinking seven, ahead to a possible tie game and an extra end with just one draw to win it. Well, I actually thought that that was why they called the timeout, that they were going to walk yeah. through what the options were. If it were to be extra ends, then it's really easy to understand what you do. But there was no discussion of, you know, where do we want to be? This is all about Colton Flash oh, trying to score at least two and Karsten still trying to force. Glenn, 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 Glenn! Vinance, and he'll leave it right there. Nobody wants to play the crowd side. Uh, You've noticed that. Yeah. <laughs> and, I, so, and I haven't oh, shot, seen early right. on shots not work out there, but slugger. no one has played it. And it's just sitting and getting that much slower. And the reason and we're talking about that is if they go to a no extra end, no, uh, it is not, a draw to the button, yeah, and someone like will have to throw on, on that side. Exactly. He could probably make this. But then it'll be a blank. Yep. Which is good. Okay. All right. We get to here, it leaves a double. This is probably jams. Yeah, and I mean, I'm happy with him playing over here. So. Yeah. Okay, what are you seeing for us? Seeing there with just board. Yeah, I like that. Okay. And I think we can still be aggressive with that. Okay. Look, look at it from there. If you think you need any more weight just because that guard, let me know. I don't think so. I can hit it fairly thin even still, right? What kind of weight were you thinking? Board. Yeah. Just board. Yep. Just, just board. Yep. By picking the right speed, you can roll a foot, you're good. You can roll into your own, you're yeah. good. And because you're throwing it so soft, you can hit it super thin and yeah. roll back kind of frozen to that yellow one. Very, very makeable shot here. 
Wait's good. Clean. Wait's Their record as two skips, oh. not necessarily teams, just the two skips. Really flash against Dermy, and Flash has won really all five meetings. Keep going, keep going. Whoa, whoa. Oh. Okay. Oh boy, Jeez. that was close to the guard. Okay. Had to pinch that out there somehow. No oh dear. Boy, that's that could have cost him the game, Vic. If that ticks the guard, misses everything, Sturmey peels the red one, and now it's a force. Sturmey yep. with hammer in the uh, tenth end. We'll try the thin double, I guess. Oh, you're looking for a third of the bra. Third? Third to thin half, somewhere in there. You got it, ready? Let's make her. For a while. Right, skipper, right at the stick button. Yeah, you got it. Basically, hit it right where the broom is. Yep. Oh, 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 Final stone oh, 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 for Carson Sturmey. Oh, oh, oh. Flash oh, 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 has oh, 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 oh. the hammer. Got one. Got them both. And he'll leave it underneath. Boy, what a nice shot. Right. Well, a big mistake, really, with his first by Flash to set it up and leave it. Yeah, that's exactly right, Vic. Uh, that was the easier shot. Beautiful throw to stick that. I think what you're going to see Colton Flash do here, uh, Kath, is just peel the back one, give yes. up a single, then he gets his two and ten, and it's a draw to the button. Close to that. Yeah. Oh. 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 Clean. 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 Shot. Exactly. So he'll give up the point. Sturme takes a two point lead. And Flash will now play for the tie, maybe even a win. Coming home. Glenn Vanance coming right at you as we play the 10th uh, here. Only game left on the ice on this Wednesday night. Our first look at half the men's field of 16. We've had three winners so far. Glenn Howard, Matt Dunstone, Brendan Botcher. And one of these two will advance to the Elite Eight. Continued on to play for more big money. Loser will be eliminated. So Colton Flash gambling that he can score his two at least to force the uh, draw to the button extra or even possibly get three and win it down by a couple. Yeah, that's where it factors in the uh, draw to the button as opposed to playing an extra end. He might not have done that with the uh, extra end because he'd have to get his two and then somehow steal. Boy, if anything. Not if you're heavy. Okay, go now. Yep, 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 yep. Shot down. Shot. Yeah. Very nice. 14 four on this Carson Sturme with a wonderful shot here to make the double and actually stick it up underneath. Really thin double, especially with the in turn, it's going to kick higher. He just grazes that top one, sticks it perfect. And then eventually Flash just got rid of one, conceded the single, now trails by two. The key shot brought to you by PKT Tires, growing together. Got to go around it. No, no, no. Back right. in, back Play in, back away. in. Play away. Whoa. Uh, curl? Curl. Curl, curl, curl. curl. Right back. Whoa. Look Whoa. at the keep, finish. Yep, 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 yep. Keep going, keep going. All right, Kyle. Good job. Nice yeah. When you think about where that was, Kathy, just as it got by that uh, corner guard on the edge of the eight and where it's ended up. No yes. one can complain there's not enough curl. <laughs> no one. It's different, though. Would you agree, Kathy? It's, 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 it comes really late. It, it, am I right in describing it that way? I mean, it oh, seems like it hangs early. forever, and then boom, it goes. You know what? It's release sensitive. It's like Colton's last intern hit. If you put it 
act like the broom. It's going to run for a while before it goes, but once it goes, it goes hard, and, and it, it rewards good throws, and that's as it should. Okay, go get, go down. Yeah. Oh, great shot, oh, That's nice, some nice shots. Two perfect come arounds for Team Flash. They're going to wear out this path, aren't they? Yeah, they are, and it, it, it is wearing out. That's the other issue. Kyle Deering. Lines good. Lines real good. Take Final. a look, guys. Final. Yep. Hard, yep. hard, 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 line. hard. You gotta go. Hard, you gotta go. Gotta go, line. Top pole. Hard, you gotta go. Tight. Well Tight. Top over twelve. Curling. Over curling. Curl, 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 curl. Hard curl. Yeah, that was one, similar, early. Like, yeah, it's a bit less, curled. but it's just curled. Just curled earlier. I'd love to make this. It's all about lying there. If you, you get, as Kathy said, up to the broom, it's still a good speed. Once it, if it happens to curl early, it's just going to stop. Well, if you can get it, they come right to the nose of ours. Little tap. It's always. I don't yeah. love this right now. I really don't. What about freezing it? Yeah, again, it's an absolute. I know, but it's someone's going to have to get rid of this rock at some point. Yeah. <laughs> and we need two, so we can make this now. It's really great. Yeah. I just, this is really good too. You can nose tap that. Like it comes in there hard. Like, yeah, look at what they just got. I know, but we gotta take it a different path. They're doing right? something here, right? So we, we just gotta take a different path again. That's the only thing. So we're not, we're, you know, we're taking a totally different line mm. to tap that. Do you so like this leaving this hard, side open for him? Like you're talking about this shot. Do you like it? It's just like it? such a. I mean, if we can make this, it's great. I, I think we have to give it a try at some point. I think I could play like tapping it out even. Do we though? Uh, like this this is kind of guarding this all day. Yeah, so I don't know if we need to get there yet. I don't mind this way again. Yeah. It's just okay. hard to put in a really good spot. Where okay, where are we concerned about being though? Flat? Well, I'm just we're sh really small scoring area right now. Yeah. I know, yeah. but right? The tapping yeah, this where it's bunching rocks for maybe to okay. blow them up eventually, yeah. right? Like yeah. even if you're just like right there. Yeah, that's great. Okay, I don't know. I'm still gonna have to make this shot. I just, I, I get that. Our, okay. but we might not though. Like right now, we have a draw for two, which is my day. Okay. All right, Remember let's now, make right? this. Put it right here. Anywhere in here. I don't even mind there then. Sure. Let's yeah. go there. Takes top me that 12. run too. Top 12. Aim for top 12, kid. Yeah. We'll take a little bit off. Yep. You Very mean, interesting in situation. The, uh, it's tough to get at that back yellow one because nobody's played that side. They're all afraid of it. As it sits for the better part of an hour, it's going to be Frosty's going to slow down. And that's that crowd side that you said oh, like even a, an end to go or two ends ago. So nobody would, nobody had played it. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Maybe take guard. Okay, go there. Gotta go, gotta go. Just clean up. Hard, hard, hard. Flash now up to uh, join Daniel Marsh and Schneider. Okay, Kev, not bad. And it's going to come up a little bit light. They wanted it uh, top eight. Like it should be 14 and a half, right? Needed to, for sure. Well, it's not very difficult. It's over buried by like but three quarters. Yeah, try and get to that. Total just half, half on that top one. Yeah. It's like we'll if you get a you. little tighter this path, it just stops. Yeah, I'm throwing a draw in the wall. Uh, five. You have to is get it, out so to the broom here to keep it sliding. So if we have a good line and this holds for line, okay. the weight will be okay. Kathy and Mike like, that was the interpreting this yeah, correctly when he, uh, when JD just said, let's get to the corner of the top one, that it's all about now Sturme trying to hold early. him to the deuce. Absolutely. Early, Try to hold early, him even early, to one. Early. Okay. He's still hard, looking for the potential guys. to win in this. Hard, and if he's corner go. freezing Come on close. the top stone hard, in the eight go. foot, yeah. the ability to score two starts to get hard, a lot tougher for Colton Flash. Okay. Up no bump. Whoa. No bump. We're not bumping. No, no. We're not bumping. No, no. No, no. Great shot. Oh, that's that exactly. If he had a chance to carry it down, that's where he would have put it. Okay, because yeah, you take into when you look at that. So shot rock, of course, belongs now to Flash. It's that stone. The yellow stone at the hey, back of the like, four. Here. That's the stone they have to nice. get to, tap it back. And now they're going where no man has gone before <laughs> over on that side. 
Did I hear 14, Kath? Is that what I heard? That's what I heard. I'm going to put a clock I'm on it. Surprised to be that fast. I don't know that it will be. Room down. I think it's close. Room down. Yeah. Really Big frosty. rotation, Go which ahead. will help. Yep. Hard. Yep. Now you can Hard somebody say you can yeah. feel frosty. Hard line. And here they go, the two Hard Marsh brothers. Oh, Daniel, Kevin, Whoa. what do you got yeah. here? Whoa. Now, Whoa. hard Whoa. now. Carl, Carl! You gonna touch it enough? Move oh, it, not quite enough, as it just <laughs> gears away. Great try, 13. It was wow, 13. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, good try. <sighs> really good effort. How much guessing are they doing out here, Kathy? Lots. You haven't played that side, and so he threw a little bit more, even though they said 14. I think consciously he thought, I, I can't be short. I can't block off this side. So he threw that little bit extra. But when you don't play a side, probably since the second end, mm -hmm. how do you know? Yeah. Very cool. Line's good. Line's good. Heavy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, this, is, this one's a lot heavier than the last one. has got a catch. T-line. Leave it. When it catches, it's really good. Leave it. It's back eat. No, 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 back no, no. When it Leave catches. It. If it catches, it may be Kyle, very hard, good. Kyle, Kyle, hard, Kyle. Oh, taking it right back, and away it goes. Okay. Nugget. That worked out. Yeah, didn't leave a pocket to kick in on, but the shot's there for two. Isn't yeah. it funny, though, how this uh, side of the ice now is getting all the attention? Yeah. Have you good? Yeah. Somewhere in this so, area, you want to sit so two somehow. You guys swept it most of the way though, yeah, so like just it, take five if, off. If, yeah. if we could somehow get it running a little bit better, so we didn't have to do. That. <laughs> I got it running I, really hard. Yeah. Oh yeah. First one. Yeah. <laughs> I had to. Yeah. yeah these, I think these you don't guys, have to think that though. Yeah. Take the same, yeah. but this last week. Five feet less, so I'll get it running. Yeah. Now, this often happens too, Kath, where the you've brushed a couple now. It's going to get a little faster. Yeah, it could it could glide on him. But he's he just said, I'll take something off. Mine's good. Mine will be good. Hair is more that, room. A, is hair that more realizing room. then that it could be a little quicker? I think so. And also the Marsh boys had said, if we don't have to brush it all the way, it will catch that little bit of a swoop. Go ahead, Kev. Back four. Coming down. Curl. Curl. Hard. Oh, if it hard. swoops, if it swoops, it swoops, it swoops. And that's good enough to sit the two. That's a well thrown curling rock. Great guess. Good teamwork yeah. there. And not a bit of, not a lick from the brush. No. Second? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Hey, that's the best. Give her a shot, yeah. Good sweep, boys. Yeah, I would say it's slow. Like, really, it's 14. Yeah, it's 14 seconds, so yeah, just a couple feet slower than the team. Yep, I would agree. 5 3, Sturme leads it, and it's been his shot making that has uh, helped him get into the lead as he out curls. Uh, Colton Flash. The game story is brought to you by Tim Hortons, the official coffee of Curling Canada. If I said by three, it's by two. Pardon me. Oh, one, one, one. JD uh, let them off the hook by being heavy, and Sturme has to get this to the face of that one that was just thrown by Schneider. Okay, wait only. Line's oh. good. Wait's there. Line's good. We're to it. Got a curl. Step. Bouncing a hair. Whoa, whoa. Bouncing a hair. Just let it grind. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Line. Leave it. No, just let it grind. Yep, 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 yep. Nice. Shot. Pretty darn good, Carson. Out of boy, crush shot. Wow. Man. And it looks enough. like he got there for a second. It's ironic. Both teams were complaining about this board no side. They made more shots on the board side than they did on the other side. I just don't think you can get the one out. Yeah, you got to hit thin. Can you get like inside that still? You can or? definitely get here though. Even if you just tap, tap. Yeah. I think I have to, right? Just try to try to get inside with a little bit of tap. I think you're good. And that you want to get this two back here so you have a little bit of space. Well, I have, have to play to back eight. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah I don't I see anything else. Like, there's nothing on this side. Well, you're well the other thought you thought was maybe this will go that way and this will drag just a hair. You can also get to this one. Oh, yeah. Oof. Okay, well, oh, yeah. 
I mean, it can. Well, well, easily, yeah, easily, for sure. Yeah. yeah, it's just a matter of... Is... You're being, now you're a different line, right? Totally like different the, line. But, yeah, but it's, it's a similar it's, shot, right? Like, yeah. you're playing back eight here, and if we get really moving... Then we yeah, I mean, if it's over curling, you know? Okay. I like it. Because anywhere he shoots it, his one's gone, then, sure. right? Okay, back eight. Okay, buddy. Okay, yeah, so now are you getting in? We're a different line, totally, yeah. yeah. This is a, yeah. It's going to be fresh. Well, it's, it's all going to be crazy different. No? Well, we're out here versus we're going to be in here. Yeah. I don't think that's enough. No. Like, you're throwing the same way I threw my first one. On the first one? Yeah. So you don't have to think too much different line. here. That's, that's, that's where I was on my first. Yeah, and you got... Yeah. We need to be close to there. You close. were probably coming in about here. Yeah. We need less. I mean, we've had... Yeah, for sure. I gave you here in your first, and I think we need here. Kentland came up with a good option. If you come down here to get that one, if it overcurls at all, they might be able to just get a piece of this one, kick it in like that. They don't have to move that top one much, but if you look at it from the hack, it's over buried by about three inches. Eight. Back eight out of my hand, yeah. Okay. That's the audible. This could be a bit straighter here. Remember Colton threw him last and that uh, didn't curl for him on the intern side. He's got to be careful here. Okay, a little bit of room. Flash, Where his first. Okay, Trails by two. Row. Back eight. Clean. Back eight. Looking to yes. get to that extra on the draw really to the hard. button for the win. Hard, you go hard. Hard. Really right now it's hitting just the one. Get it by, they did. Get it by. No, they don't. Oh, and just a little bit extra tap as it's no question now. It's just sitting the one is flash on the lid. They set a fraction wide, and it might have caused it to slow down a bit because it looked good early. And it just lost its enthusiasm at the hog line. So timeout now have been taken by Sturmey. So both teams have used their uh, two timeouts. And I mean, even JD, if I do that, it's kind of the same thing. So, so what's better? Is it a click to get here, or is it here? No, it's there. I think if he well, pounds he, no, he, he that, he definitely needs to move this because he can he pounds pound that. Right? I think it goes. So then it's the probably hole. this then. Eh? Yeah. yeah. Like he might, like he might touch the two, but it might just go, go through. Yeah. It, right? Yeah. What's that? Uh, it's actually not go? really. A, um, we don't want to get into. We want to be right here. No. Right this way. So okay. Same throw. What did you get hot to hog last time? Fourteen. Believe it or not, I think uh, I think if uh, same, same Flash same hit that uh, incredibly uh, thin, that could go right through there and clear. And they sit the deuce. So they have to take that away so that you don't, you, a, a guard here would have to be guarding the red one. So I think they're going to bring this right in, Vic. Well, I think, if, if, Kathy, I, if I heard them correctly, you, 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 you sort of hit it and roll over yeah. and, and get on top of your own. Is that right? You get on top of your own to yeah. take that away because you're right. They looked at whether they could go through the hole <laughs> on Colton's first, but he couldn't see enough of it. Now he can. Yeah. Because of the stone he just threw. It's like a heavy freeze here. There's nothing at the bumper. As we play here in 10, all the stones room, room. are in play. Line's Final line's rock. Good. Line's good. Yep, go. Yep. Hard line. Karsten Hard Sturme. Line. Line's good. Hard line. Line's good. Yep, yep, yep. Hard Deering. line. Yep. Van Ants. Hard. You gotta go. Oh, come on. Gotta go. Hard. Gotta go. carry go. this, fellas. Hard. Hard. Go. Little tap. Go, 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 and roll, roll over. Go, 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 spit it, spit it. Oh, no, they won't. Is it still there? Oh, yeah. Boy, I don't know. Or 14.9. Does this miss? Could. Might be for, is it for three if you can hit it high enough? What about, what about like this? Spin it in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Can you can you get it going this way enough though to go right onto the one? Uh, I don't think so. Flash, oh, you're saying it, for I three? Like I'm saying like hack, hit a quarter. I think it probably always good. touches their four. I just, as long as it touches this, then we don't get it. I like this cat. I think this is there. Yep, I agree. Okay, you got a minute twenty-five. So you got to think about the weight though, because you got to hit it thin enough to stay. Yeah, I need back four, back eight, back eight. Back eight. Yeah. Okay, give me the ice and I'll look down there. Just come down here like that. Try to roll in this way. Because of the outturn spin, it'll actually kind of curl a little bit if he gets it just right. So by rolling it that way, he might move that one far enough. Yeah, this 
Looking for a couple to tie to force the extra. Maybe. Is there a chance here for yeah, three in, for Colton Flash? Final stone. Down by two. Clean, where are we? Back eight, back four. Yep. He wanted the back eight weight. Clean. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Back whoa. Eight. Close. Yep. Yep. Four. Here we go. The marshes have got him. What do you got? Catlin calling off. Really now, help it over. On, help it over. On, help it over. It. Tap it up. Oh, and watch where this will go. It'll spin in. And not quite. Not quite. They've got one for sure. That roll doesn't count. Now you have to look and see. If they in fact this have the yeah. deuce, it looks like from overhead they've got their two. This one's Brilliant. That was so yeah, close to getting the three. Like that one's like I, that one's probably gone too, but yeah, this one's gone. Okay. Let's measure these two. And so we will measure to see if we're going to go to the draw to the button. I think it's red. Close. And they believe it's red, too. Yeah, because if you hit it thinner, you don't get it far enough. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. More weight. Yeah. <laughs> it had the right idea. That's that it, third stone, eh? Spinning towards. Great, yeah, because it because it's going to gear off and it's going to actually keep curling after contact. And that was really close to winning the game. Assuming he's got this measure. So from the flash stone. It sure looks like it's two for flash to tie. Are we going to have the draw to the button? Yes, we will. As Flash gets his two to tie. And now, this is where it's going to get very interesting as Sturme will have the last rock. He has the hammer, and now he'll get to make a couple of decisions. So watch how close this was. Tricky spot, Vic, and he's kicking it far enough or he loses and then almost spins this over. So we'll take a break and come back for the draw to the button to see which team will advance to the Elite Eight. The 2022 Points Bet Invitational is brought to you in part by Points Bet. Proud partner of Curling Canada by New Holland. Proud sponsor of Curling Canada by Kruger Products, the softest and strongest supporters for over 40 years. And by Home Hardware. Here's how. Well, it didn't have it this afternoon. And in the first three games, we didn't have it either. But now, for the first time, we're going to get the draw to the button in a 5 5 tie. So, no extra in, and with Carson Sturme having the last rock, the hammer, he also gets to choose the turn that the opposition will throw. He'll get to throw second. Interestingly enough, he is asking Colton Flash to throw the in turn, which is a little surprising because this is, in fact, the same turn they've been playing the majority of this and then yeah, it's funny both teams didn't want to play the board side when they went to the board side they started making everything Catlin made two beautiful shots here but good. in fairness oh, to Sturm a uh, flash was uh, pretty close with the out turn just now good. So. Good. Really good. Well, maybe it's I'm Carson's perfect. favorite turn but this is a side that I'm all perfect. the play is the other good. side actually sat stay close Kev, Kev nope. if anything no sit 
curl. Wow. wow. Ooh, that slowed down. That stopped as it got close to the center line. And absolutely in it. And Just come take a peek. Just to make sure everything. Sure. Close to a foot heavy at the top of the 12 foot and just crown down. And Flash's reaction was why he just sort of oh, took a deep breath as, as it ground in. So they, uh, they have to measure with the triangulation here with a couple mm -hmm. different spots that are uh, measured ahead of the event because they can't get the measure into the hole just to get the exact measurement. And they do this because there is a possibility that Karsten Sturme will put it in a similar position and it has to be measurable. There will be no rethrows. Somebody will win or lose on this shot. Aren't you a little surprised though that he Sturme did give him that throw? 100%. See the officials are still calculating as Karsten Sturme gets ready to throw, uh, electing to go with the other turn. 13.4 centimeters. Got to go. In here. Ben go, Venance, go. Come on, Kyle Deering, you gotta go. Gotta go, fellas. Thirteen four is what you gotta hard, beat. You, you gotta go. get it to the lid, and he is going to come up short, and it will be Colton Flash who moves on as he wins the draw to the button with a shake of the head, and so Flash wins it to make the final six to five, and he'll advance to the Elite Eight. And that will be something they'll talk about, to be sure. Why would you give him that draw, considering most of the 10th was played down that intern side? So Flash advances, and he will play Brendan Botcher in the Elite Eight coming up on Friday. And there you see the other half of the bracket, including Gushu and Kui. They'll see their first action tomorrow. As Karsten Sturme likely thinking about that decision as his draw comes up light. So. Coming up tomorrow, we'll see the other half of the uh, Sweep 16 on the women's side. And uh, looking forward to seeing Rachel Holman with uh, Tracy Fleury skipping. And Colleen Jones will join Suzanne Burt and throwing the third stones. Caitlin Laws and her brand new team will be on the ice. And those are the four games when we join you again. Tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern time, what a day it's been. It's opening day. You win, you move on. You lose, you go home. And we've already lost eight teams from the Sweet 16. More of it to come tomorrow from here in Fredericton. The points bet. Invitational on Canada Sports Leader, TSN.